that in the intro straight to the end of the TV wall. That's professionalism. That's how you avoid missing out on that action. Oh boy. Hello everybody, it's Saturday and here we are again for some more manor lording. Uh, I am your manor lord in question and you're all here to be lorded over manorly. Or something. I mean, reconstruct these words in whatever fashion takes your fancy. Uh, let's say hello to a few people. Uh, let's go. Right, Stephen started. Pretty sure Stephen was in first. Uh, followed by Techie and Black and Sky and Menso and Lixwolf. Uh, Mr. B and Swinney and Tea Kettle. Uh, Bob the Bomb. Uh, David and Michelle and Hypo Center and Hoosie and Joe of the Hammer variety. Hammer Joe. Uh, Paul and Coda B and Eileen and Peter. Uh, T-Bone and, and T-Bone who's still feeling a little tender. Uh, following T-Bone being T-Boned. Um, <clears throat> get well soon, T-Bone, old chum. Uh, you see now, and then I scrolled, and then things went mad, and there's there's all of that business, and then Beat made it rain, and everything's gone ludicrous. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to find where I was. Just, uh, it was here. It's here. It's here. Uh, Wolfgang and James and Rusty Itino and Eric and Mr. B and Eileen. Uh, no, I know it's after that. Well, whatever. Uh, Roadhog and uh, Peter, who's been a member of the Fable Game for 22 long months, and Dimitri and Wolf Mountain. Stephen and Gallifrey and Ren and Techie and Black and Sky and Menso and Lixwolf. This is, must be where I was. Uh, T Kettle J, David and Michelle and Hypo Center and Hoosie, uh, Paul and Coda B and Eileen and Peter and T Bone, who just got T Bone. That's where I was. Uh, John and Old Paint 71 and Fred and Snore, Blair to the Quiltless and Bristol Boy and Merlin Kernow and Jeff Royd and Kevin and Skip, who's here to keep order because order needs to be kept. Rusty IT Nerd and Beep has very generously tucked a ton and a half in the bucket. Thanks, Beep. Uh, appreciate that greatly. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, Ramble is standing by in case I have more plans or something. Uh, he's sitting and working on a rawhide tree. That way, I mean, Ramble being your dog and Ramble being what I do. What's not to like? Uh, Manny and Off the Rails and Merlin Kernow and Mr. Hedgebull and Andrew and Eldorad. Sophie and Daywalker and Richard and... Fluffy, thank you, autosave. Um, uh, Fluffy Xenomorph and A. Tyler Kins and Tim. Uh, Rod, the real one. Wolf Mountain and TBJ Squared. Richard and Fortress Inman. Uh, Yorkshire Phaser and Rolf and Roadhog and Jason and oh. Wolf and Karani. Uh, the Eutectic Point and Nanu Nanu. Uh, I, I don't know why Nanu Nanu is not squared, whereas TBJ is. Answers on a postcard. Uh, Super 8 and Phil and Husky Dog. And Ian and Wolfgang again, probably. You're all having a conversation, aren't you? Uh, uh, Paul for about the third time, and Eric and Average John and Caldo. Pat and Wolf Mountain and Yo Choco Tube and Wool 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 Dot Sheep and M42A1 Duster and Husky Dog and Bai Yi, uh, Tim, just in case I didn't catch you before, and Allo Squared, uh, Yan and Jaeger and Mr. McBaldspot and Jeff with his boats and Dwarf and Gordon and Synesthesia and oh no, you, you do this deliberately. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. But at the same time, it screws up my scrolling. Uh, Alex and Richard and Jarrett and Emkinator, uh, Calvin and uh, Tarek, uh, and Pioneer and Red Shark and Peter, Fluffy, Heroberg, uh, Nicholas, Forby, Martin, Malcolm, Laszlo, Mad Cat and Jeffrey and Eric the Sea Ape and Jam Dan Brown, uh, Dopey Dalek and Katie and Scott and Rodder and Grumpy Bot and Michael. Uh, T. Burt and Jamie and Thomas and Chris and Pink Suit Guy. I'm not just reading the phone book. I'm saying hello to everybody who deigned it necessary to say hello to me, which is charming. Uh, Stephen and Dean and David and Alfred and Jeffrey, who's chucked five in the bucket. Hi, Mr. Fanny. Looking forward to some Total Wars. Well, you'll see. But thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, DJ Doughboy, uh, Herbert and Super 8 and Vaporized Air. And uh, Nanu has chucked a five in the bucket. All hail the rebuild. Open tryouts are still being held. Yeah. Morpheus Fatal Gunfox, Critical Kilogram Clive, and James, who's chucked four pounds and 20 pence into the bucket because apparently that's a thing. I don't know. It's for people who still think herbaceous cigarettes are hilarious and fun. I mean, they are fun if that's your thing but at the same time come on it's not you don't need to say that it's cool anymore because uh, it's not it stopped being cool when i stopped doing it um uh silent hunter and dave and jens and brandon and 
There we go. Good. Super. I'm sure I caught you, Gallifrey and Wren, but just in case I didn't. Oi. Uh, good. Right. So, where are we? We are in the land of the uh, of the manor, the manor lords. And I saw during the week that they put out a statement to try and get a little bit of Rule 17 under control. Rule 17, for those who don't know, and I'm going to do a video series on all the rules at some point. Uh, rule 17 is expectation management. Uh, expectation management being um, all important when you've got players who are hotly anticipating something uh, and uh, and you kind of go, I think they might be expecting it to be something a bit beyond what it actually is. So the statement that the dev put out was, uh, this is, it's not a total war killer. It's just not. And he's absolutely right. Because it's not a total war. It's nothing like total war. Not even remotely. Um, it's barely an RTS. And I don't mean that in a denigrating fashion. Quite the opposite. Um, it's it's mostly about what is it. I mean, and I've not played any more since you were last here. What I've done, though, is I have played four hours of this. You've seen me play four hours of this. And in that time, I had one battle of... A tiddly amount of troops. Now, over time, you'll get to have bigger battles, but the control you're going to get over those troops is really quite limited. Total War has way more control over the troops that you have uh, on way greater scale. So if you're after something of a spectacle in that nature, you're shopping in the wrong district. Uh, you've gone to the, to the incorrect mall for that. Um, what you are getting is a very pretty village builder that has combat from time to time um and that managing and marshalling those troops uh in a keep them organized keep them fed give them other things to do militia them up get them equipped and all of that kind of thing essential and an integral part of the game but the combat is not the big feature the, the combat is an ancillary feature uh, that will probably play heavier the further through the game you get. But in the initial instant, it's a village builder. Uh, a village come town builder. And uh, and Joe said, in the, in the warm-up chapter, he goes, I thought that you were done with village builders for a bit. And I'll be honest with you, I am. I am kind of done with village builders for a bit. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be back for, for episode 3 next week or not. Largely depends what happens today. Um, uh, you'd love to see it so you as a lord can actually join the fight. But the thing is, you wouldn't be in direct control of it. Uh, you'd be standing around with your the sock on your head flapping in the breeze. Um, so, you know, they, there you go. Uh, Creative Assembly doesn't need any help killing Total War. That's a different topic. Um, the thing is, Total War as a genre, because uh, it is a, it is almost a sub-genre for it to itself. It's been around for 20 years, uh, 25 years, um, and if you've played a bunch of them, what fresh do you expect for it? Uh, it is natural that you tire of things that you have done an awful lot, an awful lot. Um, and that's that's all that's and that's the problem is that you might have loved it once upon a time uh, and someone coming at it now might go this is terrific and you're gonna go oh it's not like rome though rome was rome was the pinnacle you can put your guy in the battle scene but just as a cheerleader well i might do that next time um uh but yeah but it's you tire of everything uh when it's no longer fresh you cannot have your first kiss again uh, you've had it. It's gone. It's done. It's it, from that point on. It's all downhill, <laughs> and you have to find your uh, your enjoyment from it elsewhere. Uh, you, you know, you have to you have to extract better, better. Uh, who wants to see me doing a dispatcher in Simrail? I'll look at it, uh, but. We'll see. Anyway, for a bit, I'm going to play the game. How about that for a kettle of fish? Um, there you go. So, yeah. So, uh, why the, the comparison with Total War, I don't know. Maybe someone mentioned it somewhere and it was just like, whoa, whoa let's get ahead of that. Because it isn't. This this is what... It, 
What you're looking at here is what it is. This is the game right here. No, crumbs. I'm almost out of fuel. Okay, well, fuel's not so bad. Uh, fuel, we can switch that on. I, I can't remember exactly where anything is. This should come as no surprise to those who join in regularly. Uh, but at the same time, you know, one would hope that once in a while... There we go, woodcutter's shop. How many people have I got here at the moment? None. Do I have some spares? Yes, I've got a few spares. So let's get some woodcutters on the go to get the uh, firewood back up. The food isn't exactly overflowing, neither. But I've got two on the hunting camp, so that's adequate. Uh, so there you go. That's about the size of it. Uh, it's literally the combat seems semi-similar to Total War, but that's only because it's formation moving. Um, so you don't have the granularity that you get in a Command & Conquer style RTS uh, where you can move, you know, individual troops around. Um, but instead you're moving formations. Ta-da! You do that in Bannerlord as well. And this is certainly not Bannerlordy. Um, you do have full control over your units and stuff. So, so there you go. Uh, yeah, the, the logistics I, I, I think we'll probably get more heavily into this time around because one thing I want to achieve today is let's get the castle built uh, but let me get the fundamentals back under control first because uh, at the moment they, they ain't they're, they're, just, they're just not uh, yeah right good um, yeah yeah you're a bit of a tired of management games right now yeah yeah I mean, you, you get you Things come and go, and then once in a while, then you'll build up a... Oh, I've got a hankering to play her. It's like survival games. Go back two years, flipping loved survival games, couldn't get enough of them. Uh, go back five years, still the same story. But at the moment, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chop down a bunch of trees and make a workbench and craft a thing with jig and build the next thing and build the next thing and craft a thing and build the next thing and get the next one and build the next one and... All of that stuff. What's the problem? Bodies need burial. I see. Villagers required to be buried in hallowed ground of the church, while raiders should be dropped in a corpse pit. I shall book in a corpse pit, because those raiders who rocked up last time around that we uh, that we tore to pieces, they're going to need to be shoved in some kind of hole. Uh, now, where, if I was me, would I put the hole? Well, flipping miles away, because I understand cholera. Uh, and therefore, you know, and other associated diseases. I could put it in here, but I don't know when the team are going to get to it. Let's have a let's have a spin at it. I can't remember this menu at all. Um, right, what's this? Manor, settlers camp, right. This one, livestock trading and a bit more trading. Yep, okay. I'm going through them all just to give myself a mental kind of snapshot of different bits. Just purely so that I've got even the vaguest hope of anything hey! ever at any point. Uh, it's field, yeah, 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 residential, corpse pits, super. Now, do I need to make this super big or what? Or is it a one size fits all? I reckon one size fits all. All right, stick stick them in there. There you go, go and get that built. Someone go and dump some bodies in the hole. Uh, Nude has dropped 200 Danish crowns in the bucket. Thank you, Nude. Uh, late tax fee and get Jeff something nice too. I feed him. Uh, I mean, that's that's really all you need. I, I feed him and I give his head a scritcher, 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 and he likes that. So, you know, that's that's solid. Communal oven is a corpse pit. Oh, uh, don't you don't you feel the raiders, feed the raiders to the pigs? Oh, were that I could. Uh, but sadly, it does not appear to be an option. I'm just, I'm going dead slow to work out what the heck I'm doing. And then... I'll build like crazy, as is usual. However, I also want to mark for death this wall. And I don't know how to do that. This was part of the castle that I inadvertently built. Oh, no, it's there. Look, it's here. Right, open the castle planner. Can I get rid of this flipping wall? Uh, re rotate. Remove placed module. Alt. Yep, no, that ain't it. No, that, that didn't do it. Reset is no good, because I've already committed to this point. Remove point. Nope, nope. Again, another another nice suggestion, but that didn't work. 
What else have we got? Drag wall point, insert wall point, remove wall point, alt and click. See, I don't think it's really there. I I don't think it's really there. Uh, yeah. Uh, D uh, Mr. Stark, how do you, did, did I find out how to rename people? Someone, yeah, I think it was possibly even you that said I could rename people from their burgage. Uh, but at the same time, I don't have a personal relationship with any of these people. So there's absolutely no point in, rela in renaming them. They're just people who will get eaten by bees at some point. Yeah. Sad though that may be, uh, they're not. They're, they're not significant enough for me to warrant renaming them. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just give me a bulldozer, bruv. I mean, I, that, will, that will do the trick. <sighs> Tear down this wall. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, apparently that's a reported bug. Oh, right. Well, if it's been reported, then let's leave it. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Yeah inadvertently placed the thing it was the first thing they built and now it's terrible uh, just classic um, oh well don't mind these things happen it's early access and all of that kind of jazz so i mean you know i i find it hard to be that saddened by the whole thing try alt click without okay yeah all right hang on, hang on, hang on. i'll try it alt click negative ghost rider no no oh oh but i did something oh hang on what's that that seems to be some kind of select. What if I were to bulldoze the entire manor? New kit. Yeah. You're asking the person inside to leave. Could you ask him to kill this fence as well? No. No, 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 no can do. All right, well, a bulldoze that... No, it's still there. Okay. Blow it up. Yeah. Go on, get it, get it gone. Get it blowed up. And then I'll place it somewhere else. If it's refunding me resources, then I'm golden. But uh, it's uh, no, it's just not. It's just not. Uh, Michael says, "Hello, Colonel. Long time no see. Hi, I've been here. I, it's you that's been away, not me. I've been here every flipping week, son. You've you're the one that's been slacking. Uh, here you go. So so glad to see you playing this one. I, I played it last week as well. It's uh, it's good, but I'm not." I'm just not in the mood for a big village builder at the moment. It's why I haven't embarked on Skylines either. I mean, I, I know that there's an awful lot of other Skylines, but I've played enough of it to go, ah, it runs fine. Um, uh, but now they're all stood around, just kind of going, oh, I know, flaming. Just, right. Do you want to get nuked or what? Is the, Does it still registering a mana? No. Then I have built, hold on, construction... Maybe under, oh no, under water roads, maybe there's walls in here. Remove alt, remove road. Yes. Nope, uh, that's removed the road. Okay. Uh, alt, remove road. Because the roads and fences are seen as being the same. Hold on, what did it do there? No, 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 no. Don't even think about that. That's just placing a road. Okay. No, I think we're stuck with it. You know what I should do? What? Plant a forest around it so we can't see it anymore. Genius. That would do it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are you lot doing just standing around? Oh, they're my retainers. Oh. Hey, kids. You don't have anywhere to be at the moment then, I guess. I wonder if I've broken it. Because retainers, you only get retainers when you build a manor. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll figure it out for themselves. Uh, I'm going to put the road back in, but I should build a forest around it so we can't see it. Reload the game, it's not going to make any difference, Tyr. Uh, this is a week later. I'll reload the game to see if the wall has disappeared because I've killed the manor. You know what? That's foolish enough that we should try it. Uh, let's put it in save game number one, imaginatively titled. Uh, overwrite that bad boy, please. Thank you. Yep. Good. Return. Yeah. Load game. Yeah. And it's it's almost worth doing this because you get you get an awesome little zoom in of your village when you load it up like that. There you go. See? Okay, maybe it's not quite as awesome as I thought. It's gone. Hey! Alright, I take it back. That was a great idea. Uh, well done. The world is saved. We are once again completing ourselves. 
Right, let's get some roads back in here. Uh, let's just wiggle this around up here a bit. Perfect. Right. And then let's go Let's go mana building. How are we doing? Fuel still only one month. Food still only two months. Let me just make sure that my food places have actually got some people working in them. Uh, that's the hunting camp. Yeah, two in there. What about the foragers? Uh, forager huts. Nobody's working the forager hut right now. Put some people foraging as well. I don't, I, I don't know which month. It's March. Oh, no. Then we're coming up on foraging time. Super. Good. Right. Uh, Manor. Yes. Let's rock. Uh, give, maybe I'll get a second retinue. Maybe I will have inadvertently let's gained it out. Uh, and uh, and figured out a, uh, a means of, uh, of hacking the system to cheat. There you go. Uh, yeah. Put that in there. Right. Okay, now we're, now I'm into it. Right, this time, don't screw it up. Well, it's easy for you to say. Walls and gates. Walls and gates. I'm going to go... No, I see. The thing is, it would be quite nice to wall in the entire enclave. Uh, in, to turn it into an enclave. Um, however... However, uh, we can we can worry about that later. Do you want to build something basic and then up it later on? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Come back to it after you've got the basic bit built. Yeah, all right. I mean, that's boring, but okay. Yeah, fine. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, build something. Have something built. Uh, and then later on, you can have something more exciting. Hang on. I'm just, I just noticed this bloke with a sock on his head uh, is wheeling a, wheeling a wagon. Charming. Ah, good. Nice wagon there, blood. It's uh, it's going it's going nicely. Um, right. There we are. Go, go. Just, uh, does a final update for a game in a series usually mean a sequel is on its way? Ooh, no, and yes, and no, and yes, and no. Um, what it means, fundamentally, a final update for a game means the dev team are moving on. Uh, that that, uh, that they're, they're yoinking their support from that game onto something else, and that they declare all major issues at that point are resolved. Uh, or all the issues they're ever going to deal with resolved. Uh, whether an issue is major or minor is, of course, subjective. Uh, not everybody sees things in exactly the same way. And uh, but the one thing you can get is if you find someone else who's disgruntled in some fashion, then you can usually get them to go. Yes, I agree. What you're saying is also essential, as well as the thing that I'm saying is essential. Uh, groups of disgruntled people, magnifique, uh, in terms of of rallying them up. Not enough supplies. Yeah, I know that. I'm working on it. I've got. Eggs and flipping... I should have honey on the go by this point as well, in at least some limited fashion. Someone's working... I've got two people working the chuffing apiary. Should be fine, yeah. And then I've got plenty of burgages that are operating chickens. I'm not making any more bows at the moment because we don't need them. Yes. I don't know. Right. Okay, so what next? And then I've got exposed goods at generic store. Oh my god, yeah, that's we're gonna build the manor house out of that. Arguably someone already should be there we go, it's Jake with his, his with his cow moving stuff around. Uh so there you go. Yeah. Right. Good. So then what will what will propel us forwards? Um who more chickens and more veg gardens. We've got to we've got to get the food up. And I the food level deeply concerns me. Uh, I mean, it's March, so we're into growing season in the field. How many people have I got employed here at what? One. I've got three spare families. Let's put two on that and see if we can't increase the tempo. Uh, how many people in the mill? None. Good. How many people in the cookhouse? I uh, please hold. Uh, it's here somewhere. There we are. Communal oven. Nobody. Cool. Shouldn't be anybody in the cookhouse. Not at the moment. Alright. So, what do you want to do? Well, I want to get... 
uh, my approval rating up so we can get more people moving in. I just said more chickens. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of doing a general review for my own benefit to try and figure out what the heck is going on. Uh, yeah. And then to formulate a plan because it's very easy to... Because I shoot from the hip a lot. Uh, it is jolly easy to inadvertently shoot from the hip in the wrong place and kill bystanders. And that's that's really not what I'm not what I'm interested in. Uh, I'd quite like to to get it right. Am I brewing yet? No, 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 no. I don't, but uh, Bob, to be honest, brewing, love to, but until I figured out how to get this pig in wheat field to deliver some pig in wheat, then that's then beer's not on the menu, lads. Um, it will be once I figure out farming in a slightly more robust fashion. Uh, in the tannery, we've got nobody. Good. I've only got two unemployed at the moment, you see. So I don't want to. I don't want to go overboard on this. Storehouse is fine. Yeah, good. I've got another storehouse somewhere, but I can't remember where I put it. And in the trading post, what are we flogging? I'm not selling stone or planks. Good answer. Roof tiles, no. Or blocks. I'm running out of food. I know. Um, uh, crops. I've got wheat. Wheat is still not as greyed out as I'd like. Do no trade. No trade. You could do some import. Yeah, you'd need refined stuff for that. You could do some import. But isn't it fierce expensive if you're not really exporting much? Well, I was. Last time around, I was exporting clay and making uh, an okay living off it. You could go back to doing that. Uh, military construction. Well, clay's not listed. No, it's not in there. No. Hold on. What about ma what's this major trades business? No, 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 no. That's not. That's not really. Ah, oh, hold on. A materiel. We are exporting iron slab, right, and clay, right. Okay. Good. Yeah. We're only exporting clay if I've got more than forty. No, no, no. I only want to keep one. Okay, yeah. Then we are exporting clay. I've got 250 groats in. Well, then you should probably, or you could, conceivably. I'm going to conceivably import something worth eating. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you see, TPF2 is getting its final update soon. Yeah, I'd, uh, because I think it's because they wanted to continue uh, dealing with console-based stuff rather than anything else and making sure they got that over the over the whatnot we could do a free a trade route for eggs someone said there were free trade routes that could be had hang on and i can't remember in what context they said that that existed yeah i do have the money to set up more trade routes flipping or they go for a bit no they go for well they do go for a bit but they cost a bit to set up as well um, yeah, we've still got eight sets of bodies to bury. I know, it's because none of my pigging workers can be bothered digging a hole. I've finished a, a food uh, stall, which is a delight. How are we looking? One month of food, one month of fuel. Oh, come on, people. Yeah. No, I'm going to leave that alone. We're just going to go with clay. Yeah. Do you want to up the tempo? I'm tempted to up the tempo because I am in a bit of a holding pattern. All right, got him. How'd you up the tempo? I don't know. It's uh, oh, it's isn't it like Q and E? No, Z and X. It's Z and X. Right, let's up the tempo a bit. Let us progress forward and see if we all die. There you go. I've got two months of food now. That's better. That would be an improvement. Still only one month of fuel, but I put clowns to work on the fuel situation. Yep, didn't work though, obviously. More families moving in. That's a good thing. The food stall's getting wet. Whoop. Put it under the awning. That's why you have one. You giant dingus. Uh, trade routes get much cheaper to set up after you spend a development point to do so. And that's the other thing that I've not done, is I might actually have some development points available. Uh, I can't remember. No, I do not have development points available. I might have policies available. Again, I think you can just you can just set those up. 
Um, yeah, okay. I don't want to decrease my flipping hunting ground stock by 50%. That seems awful. Uh, you can make people eat less. No, they hate me enough already. These are all work in progress. Well, let's not do those then. And then over to production. Ah, yeah. Okay, so there you go. That was that was that. That was uh, that was that was good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's solid. Everything, everything's under control to an extent. Chickens, right? Okay, burgages. What are you doing? You are. Uh, oh, I haven't done anything here yet. Right. Get some more flipping chickens. Or should we go goats? What do they give me? Gives me hides passively. You give me eggs. You give me vegetables. Okay. Go on in. Veg it. Right. Okay. You. What are you all about? You're already vegging. Good. You. What are you doing? If I get a surplus of food, I'll flog it. See? That's... That's a no... That's a no-brainer. But I want to get to the point where I'm kind of going, I no longer need worry about food. For worrying about food is foolish and leads to the end times. Okay. Chicken. Yeah, I realise I'm spending what meagre amounts of cash I have left. Did you... Oh, it's under construction. You've issued quite a lot of construction orders here. Yep, and I shall continue to do so. Vegetables. All right. You? Uh, I've got nothing here. Chickens. All right. Okay. And you? I'm doing vegetables. Excellent choice, sir. And you? Uh, chickens. Brilliant. It's like you read my mind. All right. Well, that should that should put a, a sizable dent in things, maybe. Um, good. Right. Super. Up tempo. Dogs next door are going bananas. They do that a bit. There we go. We've got some construction finished notifications going on. I mean, I might deploy one extra person to do firewood, and that way we can get that under control. Why are we not doing goats? Because I don't need hides. Not at the moment. Yeah. Um, but there you are. Yeah. Wait, resource has been stolen by bandits. Well, they can sod off. Uh, what do they nick? Hides, by the looks of it. Just clear off. Also, the... Uh, the if bandits are nicking things, I am just saying... Oh, I've constructed an upgrade on my manor. By which you mean I've built the manor. There it is. Here we are. Oh, yeah. I'm amazing. There we are. We've got a manor house. It's uh, it's deadly and uh, and most impressive, mostly impressive. What are you mining? Uh, there's a lot of you in there. You're mining clay, which I'm then flogging, which is a sound plan. I've not got enough supplies. I am all oh, gold. We're out of fuel. Where are these dipsticks? Oi! Get some more fuel in here. Right, I'm going to max you out for a bit. Or maybe a secondary uh, woodcutter would do the trick. I thought I had one. No, no, no. You only have the one, but you keep moving it. Right. Well, look, I think a, a couple on there will probably smooth things over a smidge, at least in the short term. Um, uh, if I press the tilde key, I get an overview of what's happening in the, in the village. That's a lie. No, no, that's escape. No, you don't. No, you made that up. Yeah, no, that doesn't do anything. So, no, you are you are mistaken. Because uh, it doesn't. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? Uh, is that the, is that the fuel count there? I suppose it is. Well, I've got 133 days to harvest. Okay, that's the fuel count. That's the food count. Right. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, it seems that the micromanagement is awful. No, it's it, it, it kind of is, but only because of the way that I've expanded early on, uh, in that I cocked it up early on and didn't put enough effort into making sure that the approval was good. These buried, these bodies are unburied. That's because you people won't get on with it. Uh, so I didn't tab, not tilde. Ah, oh, see, there we go. Now we know. Any other questions? 
Jolly good. There's some money. Hey, nice bit of trade executed there. Uh, yeah. Are we learning anything? Well, you can see the buildings that don't have anybody working there. No clue as to what those buildings are. You're expected to memorise it. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I've got a broad, I've got a broad notion of what that is. What are you doing? You're charcoaling for all your work. We're supposed to be using charcoal instead of firewood. What are you clowns doing? Where's your chuffin uh, progress bar? I mean, he's just sitting around warming his inner thighs, Nickel, if that is your name. Uh, this is supposed to yield significantly higher amounts of firewood than firewood. So, why are you... No, I'm just making sure it's alright, Gov. Well, okay. I, I mean, shouldn't you be poking it with something? Perhaps, you know, maybe that would expedite things a little. I don't know. No, no. I know my job. Ah, uh, no, I'm done. Well, good. Thanks for that. Lovely of you to contribute there. Alt F4 would cut more firewood. I'll tailor. Go back to 2002 when that joke hadn't just run out of steam. Also, Kevin chucked a tenner in the bucket. Apologies, Kevin. I didn't forget. I did, but I got distracted in the side order. Um, greetings, my, my Lord Colonel. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> flattery gets you everywhere. I think you're going to need another firewood cutter, at least in the interim, until you've got this problem resolved. And by cranking up the amount of food we're generating, I, I assume that will take a month or two to uh, to, to come through. What? Well, stock's damaged by weather food stall. But surely the point of having a food stall is that it keeps it dry while they're flogging it. And you can't bellyache about, <coughs> about being short on fuel where, or food when it's just out there getting soggy in the chuffing rain. Riddle me that, you punks. Thank you. Right, good. Oh, we must have bought something, because I had 155 groats. I'm now down to 141. Don't think I'm not paying attention to this. What did I buy? I don't think I bought anything. I don't think I've got anything issued for purchase. Uh, routes are required. Yeah, 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 yeah. No trade. Yeah. No pad to trade. Okay. Yeah. Export only. Right. As it should be. Uh, yeah. Routes required. Yeah. All right. Someone's half inching me cash. Oh, it might be. It might be that I'm taxationing it. Could be taxationing it. Probably a whole woodcutter just for charcoal. And that would be fine, but they do not appear to be generating enough flipping charcoal to actually charcoal a charcoal charcoal. Now, I've got smelting going on, and therefore that's probably using up more than its fair share. But based on the number of burgages that are currently sparking up here, I would say we've still got a, what could easily be described as a shortage don't know i don't know i spent money upgrade i spent money upgrading no 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 no. the money came in after i'd done the upgrading because that money i didn't have any imports in there i swear i didn't i just read the thing um sorry when my phone interrupts i chuck it on the floor uh imports none okay here none yeah none yeah Okay. Nothing apart from two exports. Yeah. yeah. No importing. No importing. Uh, next one. Nothing. Yep. And nothing. Right. You're wrong. Ha. Uh, yeah, no. They're, they're, I'm, not, I'm not paying for anything. Why are you hacked off now? Taxation and the church level. The church level makes you happy. Oh, that's good. The market food variety is not working so well, neither. I am, however, my, ta my personal treasury has increased a little, so I wonder if maybe I skimmed some. Converted to treasury via a tax policy. I reckon that was it. I 
I reckon that was it. Yeah. Okay. Well, in other news, it's raining. By horses and oxen. Maybe later. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe later. Uh, they're, they're a, I, I want to get some sheeps in. Because, I, well, actually, I don't know if sheep, sheeps make good eats or not. Two months of food, one month of fuel. We are really living uh, hand to stick at the moment. Yeah. And we built this uh, plague hole. Where did I put it? It was down the bottom somewhere. Uh, plague hole. Plague hole? Mining pit? Yeah, that's not it. I didn't think it was this far over. Hole. Four dead. Ah, here we go. Corpse pit. Nothing is stored inside. Not even some corpses. Oh, don't make me assign people to it. I'm going to have to assign people to it. Alright, I've assigned people to it. Until we've got all of the bodies in the ground, then uh, then we're there. I need to bury two peoples. I, I need to bury quite a few people, I imagine. it was. It's been rumoured as eight up to this point. Uh, that the church auto buries your own citizens, uh, but it's incoming scumbags who you need to stick in a in a corpse pit, and that's all good. I've only got one unassigned family, so that's my building unit at the moment. But I'd like to see these burgages start to kick out a little bit of, you know, a bit of food, a little bit of food. Raise the rabble or mercs and go raid the raider camp. That's a bit premature. I, I want to solve the food. If I raise my militia right now, uh, what we won't be doing is bringing in any further fuel or food. Because I'll be nicking them from their day jobs. Uh, so I want to get that done first. Always get your economy done before you go militaristic raiding. Everybody knows that. Everybody. Not enough supply. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Can you clear off? Stop telling me. No, it's not gonna. Oh, right then. Yeah, it just doesn't want to. Yeah. Good. Right, now what? Well, I could get additional burgages up. You've actually got 14 fuel in now. That's a little better, but it's all firewood. And some charcoal. There you go. Someone's gonna half inch that. The charcoal is operational. The spice is flowing, everybody. That's the stuff. Right, good. I feel more confident about things now. Why don't you just keep an eye on these numbers? And as long as they keep going up, they'll go down and then up and then down and then go up and down and up and down and up. Um, but uh, wild animals have migrated. Oh, no. Was it the wild animals I was chasing? Yep. They've moved. They're over here now. Actually, you've killed quite a lot of them. Oh, nuts. Okay, well, you haven't got any more close, and you need to wait for those to, you know, do what wild animals do when they're left to their own devices. Eat chickens. Yeah, yeah, I need to eat chickens. Right, here's the map. One could jolly well make an argument uh, for, let's go and nick next door. You know? Right, there's a rich deposit of berries. Nice. Uh, a rich deposit of iron. Helpful later on. Some wild animals. Okay, or down here where there's loads of wild animals. There's brigands. Can I get a look at them? Yes, because you've got uh, you've got a spy satellite. You know what? Scragging these brigands might not be the worst idea. I take it back, Bob. I take it back. Maybe we should go kill them. But I would, it would be taking away a lot of my workforce. And I'm also not entirely sure how that works. All the more reason to do it, frankly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, well look, they're all the way over there. Right, you're up here. It's a bit of a traipse. It's not a huge traipse, but it's a bit of a traipse. How do I... How, I, you can claim it with influence of a thousand. And I currently have 610. Can we go for raising the settlement? Load? Enacting a policy or concrete bandit camps. Have we not got our own bandit camp to play with? 
Yes. Is this my house? No, you have to press T to find your house. No, there are no bandit camps in my region because I keep it clean. There we go. There's my house. T. T to, pl to go back to your house. All right. Super. Yeah. No, we'll leave well enough alone. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on, uh, and increase the number of burgages. Uh, I am eager to see what happens with our wheat. Yeah, the field priority is medium. Well, there don't. There's nothing to take priority away from. We've only up to twenty four percent sowing progress. Get a shake on, lads. Uh, I mean, look, I've. I've deployed two families here. That should be more than ample. I mean, okay, it's two out of eight. But that should be more than ample. Yeah, I don't know how much this field is going to yield. Well, 5%. What's the 5% in aid of? Wheat is threshed into grain at the farm. Yes. Okay. After that, it can be further processed into flour and bread, which I'm set up for. I'm ready for it. It's all good. Yeah. If you kill off a faction, does it spawn new ones? No, I think that's game over. I think you win at that point. Uh, that's, my, that's my assumption. I have no knowledge particularly, but uh, my assumption is once you've beaten your opponent, and then ta-da! And it probably gives you the option of, right, carry on playing. Because there's only a finite size map. It's not a very big map overall uh but it is all live interconnected see that's the that's the full size map i'm only playing on standard size i'm not playing on the the really big one so that's this is all there is to be had right now uh t thank you right how's it looking oh well 19 food that's more uh firewood 30 that is also more my money's gone up that's also a good thing. And a new family's moved in. But they're still unhappy. Why? Because they are. Yeah. I need to swap the crop. I will do once I've had a good crop come in. Now, I know I need to rotate it in order to keep, uh, in order to keep the field in, in tippity-top condition. Where are we up to now? Wheat, 5%. Okay, what can we put in next year? Crop rotation. Give me right. Crop rotation. Make it something we can gr we can actually make use of. Flax gives nine percent fertility, or does it do nothing? Tell you what, we'll leave it fallow next year, which is going to be trouble. Uh, and then the wheat, and then the year after that, we'll do year on year off with wheat, uh, and see if that keeps it being all it can be. Uh, one of these new families can come and help here as well. Let's let's get this as far along as we possibly can. I'm not entirely sure we can plant plant anymore. Forty-four oh, percent. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got uh, three months of food, two months of fuel. Now you're talking. Um, maybe I should now resolve some more storage. Sounds like a plan. Flipping bandits come and steal in my logs. Invisible. In the night. Like thieves. Well, they are thieves. Not like thieves. They are thieves. Stealing my cheese. The little scumbags. Yeah, you could put a storage up here. Is this a bit of incomplete road or is it just a bit overgrown? Well, I've fixed it now. Now it's better. Yeah. Are you sure this is a good place for it? Well, it's within staggering distance of the market, so it might be a halfway decent idea. Uh, yeah, you've got this area here. No, 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 no. You've got, uh, you've got lumber behaviour going on there. What are you? You're a granari. Right, here is the place to put it. Let's put another standard storage shed here. Uh one time storehouse now what i'm not doing which i should but i'm not gonna uh is telling individual storage houses uh what they are and aren't allowed to store and you can optimize that is standard banished stuff right and tell it yes you can store clay and bees in here and then in the other one you kind of go i want you storing cups and biscuits 
Um, and that's that's all normal. But at the moment, I'm letting everything go everywhere because my village is a tiddler. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to break 100 citizens today. Hey. Yeah, that's not bad. I've got some level 2 families. That will be something that I did. Yeah. Do you really know what you did? No. Maybe they did it to themselves. Uh, upgrade to level 2. Generates regional wealth. Unlocks new extensions including... Oh, I spent money to do it. And resources. Woodcutter's Lodge is full. Right, okay. Yeah. Maybe let's just upgrade. What does it cost? It just costs four logs. Oh, let's get it done. I seem to have a log surplus right now. Yeah, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let's do that because they'll generate tax. And I like tax. Tax is a good thing. It works very much in my in my favor you can't upgrade why not expand living space yeah do that there you go there you go a little bit of little bit of progress going on there but not too much i could let the peasants pick some berries i already am doing they are they are picking berries check the berry picking hole here you go berry deposit it's busy but i've got a bunch of oh, flipping put more clowns on that yeah, I'm not neglecting the berries. Far from it, but they've decided that the important thing for them to do is... Uh, actually, I should move my hunting camp. That said, we have almost hunted the wild animals to extinction. So what I should do is I should take you off uh, hunting for the moment. Which is going to have a negative impact overall. But it is now June. June. Yeah. Okay, right. June. Yeah. Yeah. More people. I know a family's moved into the manor. Who said they could do that? That's my house. That's where I keep all my things. Okay, well, let's open the castle planner. Yeah, give me some fuel reserves. Put two in there. Uh, people. I've got one of two families. Uh, hold on. There was a button there that said servant, and I'm interested in that. Show workplace manner. Righto. Okay, good. Taxes. Oh, hello there. Oh, church tithe can get knotted. Let's drop the tax. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's more important to you right now? Getting more people into, uh, into the town. So I'm going to knock the tax off for a bit. Uh, I will, however, open my castle planner and build the next phase. That's the tax office. It doesn't do anything, but it looks nice. That's outer wall. You know, that's a garrison tower. Increases my retinue by 12. It's not cheap, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, walls and gates that should not be misplaced. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you sure you want to go ahead and do this? I reckon it'll be okay. Now, does that exist purely within my circle of influence? Maybe if I would do a tower of some kind, it will extend my influence. That looks like it wants to snap onto a wall. I'm almost certain it does. A garrison tower also wants to... Oh, no, you want to snap onto the manor. No, or the road. Nope, the manor. Weird. It's kind of a top-heavy bit of tower action as well going on there, but I don't see any harm in it. It's expensive, but it does seem to be a... Do it! Let's do that! Commit! There you go. That'll give the children something to do for a little bit. Right, and I'm also going to issue another couple of burgages. Burgages. You can type in 5%. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered about making money at the moment, because the only thing I can really spend it on is hiring troops. And again... I'm not there yet. Yeah. I could make more level 2 houses and that also. Yes, I could. Yep. I've got 198 in regional wealth. Have these been done? No, they're under construction still. I'll wait till that lot are done. And then I probably will. But I want to... I'm going to expand my burgage reign as well. Uh, yeah. Bring, them, bring me burgages or bring me burgages. Yeah. 
because we're what are we at we've got 31 available living space 20 29 of which is used which is perfectly fine but uh, it means we're running out so let's get the next stage done uh, where does it live residential oh hello what have we got here marketplace yeah firewood cart yeah food cart yeah tavern yeah not bearing yet no corpse pit I could build a really small field that does hops or barley. Yeah. Critical kilogram. I've done the berries. Stop banging on. I've done them. They've been done. They have been done already. Cease your banging on. Uh, don't I need stone for my new tower? I do, but I've got some, so that's fine. Uh, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna burgage up a couple here next to the clay pit. And that's not a good idea. Uh, the charcoal hole. No, it's not a good idea. Maybe a few down here. Now that puts them a little away from the, the town centre. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you go. See, that's nice. Not enough goods. What do you mean not enough goods? What are you talking about? I need twelve lumber. Uh, Okay, well, how many lumber have I got? Nine. I pr probably just spent a few off them on a tower, didn't I? More than likely. Yeah. On the subject of bills, I'm looking forward to Frostpunk 2. I think you all know my opinion on Frostpunk. I've got logs in here. You just need to go get them. So someone go get the logs. I have logs aplenty. Um, but someone needs to go fetch. Because otherwise, you know, nothing's going to happen. Am I, do I need to build another ox wagon? I reckon I probably do. Um, yeah. I reckon I probably do. And you know what? Building it here wouldn't be the worst idea in the world either. Uh, right. Okay, right. Let's go out a little bit further. There we go. And then, to be honest, I should have one anyway just to have one. Uh, as an additional logistic something. Hitchin Purse. Right, there you go. Put him in here. Right. There you go. Get me another give me another cow and we'll we'll slap stuff around. I've got policies available. I know, but no new policies. You're saying that as though <gasps> something exciting's happened and you go, but it hasn't. It's still the same ones there were before. So shh Right. Yeah. And those policies suck, which is why I haven't done them. I know, spooky, isn't it? If you give me some non-sucky policies, I might actually make use of them. But until that point, then I probably won't. Another couple of oxes. The problem with the oxes, though, is each one uses a worker. Uh, and I've only got two left that are unassigned at the current time. So I'm, I'm reluctant to deploy them. We've got loads of food happening now. One vegetable, 58 berries. Uh, and then three eggs. Super. What? Why Why the lack of honey? We should be rolling in it. There you go. Let's put someone on. Put another person on honey duty. Maybe they just love it so much they're eating it all straight away. Where are you off to? I'm taking this log to one of my burgage upgrades. That's why my logs are taking a while to get around because they're, they're all being sent for upgrading. How do we get on here? Uh, right, sewing progress 100%. I think they might have got there anyway without my intervention. However, having three families there will probably work just fine. Yeah. As I have an apiary, can I make mead? I've not seen a mead brewery. Uh, T-Bone, you've got some weird taste. I've had mead, it's disgusting. Uh, it's absolutely grim. Um, but obviously, horses for courses, you know. Uh, everybody has their own personal taste, but... Uh, no, hard pass on me, thank you very much. There's a reason that it's not available everywhere, and that's because it's horrible. Um, but that's, that's just my opinion. Yeah. You don't need to have a designated ox worker. The builder will go get them as needed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, that hunting policy doesn't do what you think it does. I think it just makes the animal breed faster. Um, no, that, 
the, the, my understanding of the hunting policy, I'm pretty sure, is accurate. And that is that that's the hunting limit. So when it drops to three, stop hunting them, and then they'll go repopulate until there are more than three left. So realistically, I should actually leave it till it's about ten, because that's half the herd. And then they will refuel that much faster. I'm waiting for three to rebuild back up to 20. It's going to take yonks. Uh, whereas if I wait from 10 to get back up to 20, it will take less time. So it will be a more regular switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off, uh, rather than anything else. I mean, I could read the in-game Wikipedia, but why break the habit of a lifetime? So I'm not going to. Uh, right, yeah. You too, right. Let's, let's take some of you out of commission for the moment. Stop. Cease your cutting of things down. I've got three months of fuel, four months of food. All of the actions I have committed to so far today have worked. Yeah, and I've got policies available. Yay. I've got 121 quid in the bank now. All right. And my approval's at 60%. Why are they hacked off now? Well, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not doing any taxation. I cancelled it. I cancelled taxation, so you can you can cease your complaining. And I'm not doing anything yet, because uh, I am awaiting my workforce to return to being ready. I've now got three workers. Yeah, you just knocked them off uh, fire pit duty. Uh, Aaron has become a member of the fail brigades, and I'm fairly certain it's not for the first time. Uh, but either way... Aaron, fail brigade, a match made in heaven. It's the kind of thing that we all go, oh, how I yearn to find the brigade to which I should become a member. And here it is. And there you are. Right, let's get this prioritised, please. Because that will then help everything else get built quicker. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm doing important business. What are you supposed to be doing? Uh, you're looking for a planting spot for a tree. Might I suggest anywhere? There is space everywhere. Don't be fussy about it. Just go plant a pigging tree. Don't give me all of this. Oh, you've got to be very. It's a very specialised job. It flipping isn't. Don't talk rot. I could tan up some hides. Hey, that might not be the worst idea. All right, there we go. Are we working? We're not. Okay, let's uh, let's kick someone in there. Go and tan up some of these hides that I'm hanging on to. Maybe something good will happen as a result of that. Maybe we'll make people happy. I don't know. Uh, can we have a look at the fertility overlay if I'm considering a small barley field? Yes. Where is it? I've used it before. Where doth it live? That's settings. That's help. That's map. That's armory. That's construction. That's roads. Better not be a hotkey. I bet it is. Well, then you should tell me what it is. Help. Uh, fields, 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 growing, food, fields, uh, resources. Fields, 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 fields. Flax is as good as any. Brilliant. That helped. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Mm. Buildings, yes. Uh, field. Field, yes. Yeah. Okay, ah, uh, what's the button? What is the button? Come on, too lazy. You can push the door open with your head. Well, you don't need me to open happen. the door These for you. From time to time. Come here. Shut up. Don't you backmouth me. Uh, back chat, back mouth. Oh, it's the same thing. Uh, map. No. Here he is, everybody. Yeah. Star of the show. Yeah. Silence. You can't sit there. That's where I have the light when I'm entertaining the internet. Sweet galloping cat. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. It responds to hand signals, you know. Also, I have Pavlo Pavlovlyly trained him when I'm going to take, give him food. He responds to the uh, to the signal. Sorry, he's just got a bit of grot in, his, in the corner of his eye. Uh, right, make yourself comfortable. Right, you may now get to enjoy Jeff rubbing his head against the microphone. Uh, 
if that's the kind of thing you enjoy, good luck. There you are. The true lord of the mountain. Oh, no, he's going to watch the game because the game's doing things. Yep, right in the middle, as usual. Thanks, Jeff. I'll let you know when it becomes a burden. Can I do that? No. Overlays. Tab. That's not helpful. No. The, the, I mean, as much as I was glib about it, the tab overlay is actually quite handy in seeing where, if nothing else, where you've actually put buildings. I finished the hitching post. Ah, good. Right. Am I going to deploy someone on the hitching post? Maybe temporarily, maybe for longer than that, but yeah. Alright, there you go. And that still gives me at least one builder remaining, but we'll get the resources shuffling around a bit quicker. So that's good. Making purr, he is doing. But because of my microphone, you'll only hear him when he's up close. Uh, Rumple Jim, do I ever play uh, Transport Fever anymore? No, not at the moment. Uh, when Transport Fever 3 comes out, I'll be all over it. But I have no new stories to tell in Transport Fever 2. Which is why I haven't been making videos. Because I've done that game. I've finished it. There is nothing more for me to do. Uh, I have succeeded at everything. And were I to post H for heat map. Oh look, here's overlays. H for something. Well, it wasn't H. That's allowing me to try and place, I don't know, a hovel. But it's brought this thing up, which is quite useful. So, barley fertility. There you go. If one were to barley, where would one do it? Uh, it would probably be around somewhere. Here. This looks like the best of a bad bunch. None of it is super fertile, but this looks somewhat viable. I'd have to. So I think what I'd do is I'd wait till I expand naturally in that, either that or directly outside my manor house. I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, yeah, or right on the border down here, maybe. Or well, there's a little bit up there as well. But I think, ultimately, hello, uh, that about here is probably the best spot. I reckon. Yeah. What's, what's about rye? Well... Well, right, we've got all kinds of options. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, talk to me about a brewery. Let's have a look. Let's look into it. Because then we can get the tavern up, and that will make people happier. And that will encourage more people to come and join. So, there's there's plenty of reason to do it. Um, uh, yeah, tannery, no. Weaver, no. Dyer. Yes. Okay. The malt house. Barley is malted into malt. It needs to be refilled once a month. Well, that's fine. I could make clay tiles. They sell for good money. But selling the raw clay is keeping me in good cash for now. Make a good beer. Uh, there's no idea. Uh, with that bad fertility, I'm better off importing it. Yeah, but that costs money. Um, I'd have to find something equally valuable to export which could be something like clay tiles i could do clay tiles i'm making iron slabs to craft tools the question becomes am i actually making any yeah 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 it turns out i am okay i mean i could i could make an armory and then sell weapons that, that'll make some money i bet your money that'll make your money yeah all right so uh, show me uh, yeah, yeah, the dyer, yeah, the weaver, yes, the tanner. No, they're they're burgage add-ons. They are, aren't they? They're burgage add-ons. How many iron slabs do I have in stock? See, these are the these are the real questions. Uh, nope. Okay. Here, maybe. Yes, none. Okay. Right. Am I mining iron? No. <laughs> okay, that would explain uh, several things. That's nobody left unemployed. All right, okay, I'll wait for the next people to be unemployed. Or I'll put the uh, the ox wanger back into, uh, into G-pop after he's finished his ox wanging. Uh, and then we'll, then we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll see. Upgrade to a small stable. Yes. 
order another ox for 20 quid. That's nothing. Yeah, order a hoss for 30 quid. I could do that. In fact, I don't think this actually has an ox in it. Zero of one. I don't think I've actually bought an ox. I think this is just a bloke going around with a bag. Yeah. Tricky. Yeah. I'm going to buy a hoss. I've got the money. Yeah, do it then. Done. I've ordered a hoss. There you go. And we just knocked a tree down on someone's house. Ah, but it's their own fault for living next to trees in their logging camp. Well, then I would say that that was, uh, that was an industrial accident at work uh, that just occurred there. Yeah, how's my level twos going? There's one. Yeah, there's one. Yes. All right, that's under construction. All right, we are progressing. It's because I haven't got many builders on the go at the moment. Uh, thanks, Autosafe. Um, yeah. And then my next batch of burgages. Where did I stick them? I thought I stuck them down here. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, well, we'll find them when they're built. And I've got my tower under construction. Let's up the tempo and get these flipping knocked off. Uh, and then we can maybe progress to some... Oh, hold on. Question mark. Work area is empty. Who's that? Oh, that's, no, that's me berry hunters. They have, they've quaffed them all. But I've got 82 food in right now. So that's not the end of the world. Okay. All right, foragers. Get back into G-Pop. And the settlement level's increased. And I've got a new development point. And the bandits have been back. Goodness gracious. It's all flipping everything. Right. Okay. So, how's the... The animals are rebuilding their population. Okay. Not quite ready, though. Yeah. Have we got a horse here now? Well, you say, it says no. That there's no space. She's just chopping a log for, for life. Uh, Rye cost two dev points. Well, let's have a look. Uh, development. I have one. Here is charcoal burning. We've done. Okay, that can give us deep mining. Oh, hush. Uh, then we could do basic armor smithing. Not the worst idea ever. And then advanced armor making. Uh, up here... We've got trade logistics. Establishing a trade route always costs 25 quid tops. That might be a good way to go to, to cap the, the cost there. Meanwhile, foreign suppliers gives me new carts. A permanent market store which provides a passive income of bread. Free bread? Yes. Sounds like a swizz, though. It might be. All right. Yeah. And then what? Uh, up here, we've got an orchardry, which produces apples, which takes three years for them to get to. Don't interfere with that interface, cat. No, find something else. With... I'll get your blanket. Sorry, I'm just trying to cat manage. Shut up. Uh, until he's settled. There you go. Look, here's that. Yes, you know this. This, yeah, look. I'm trying to manoeuvre you so I can sit it here so I can continue being flamboyant on the internet and you can just get comfortable with your bad self. And I've got this in the wrong place now. Oh, it's all going to pieces. Uh, this is a consummate professional going on here. Oh, yeah. I mean, I do this every week. You'd think I'd have some kind of plan. I do. It's to let the cat happen. Uh, right. Sorted. Then you've got sheep. Which isn't a bad idea either. And then the heavy plow. Significantly faster plowing of large fields. That's solid. Yeah. Ah, advanced beekeeping. Now, I am a beekeepist. Yeah. Double the capacity of your berries. We've been leaning on that quite a lot. Uh, trapping gives a passive... Wait, what? Gives a passive income of meat. You know what? Free food. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I'm having it. That's that's a thing that's occurring. We're doing it. Uh, right, yeah. Your, your trappers lay meat traps. And they gather all the meat in their meat trap. 
I shall put one hunter on this. Do I need to tell him to place a meat trap? I don't want to limit your work area. You go where you feel like going, my friend. Uh, see if it makes you happy in your life. Maybe it will. But I expect to see free meat coming out of you. Sheeps are infinite money. Uh, we don't know. Uh, one advantage of having a main grain feel, uh, uh, right, field right now outside the manor is you get to stand in the window and tell people tending the field to get back to work. I'm loving your work, Bjorn. I thought that was going to be some advice there, but actually it was useful instead. Uh, and that's good. Yeah. Where, where's the cat? It's here. Right. Oh, okay. All right. That's level two. That's under construction. That's level two. We've finished an under construction. That's one has now. No, that's still level one. Flip the cat. Uh, all right. No, just just be patient. Just be patient. And keep an eye on these two because you might need to dial things back up again. Uh, September, I believe, is harvest. No, not if your crop grows. It's only 24%. 19 days till harvest. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm going to up the... I'm cranking up the tempo again. Because we've still got loads to... We've got loads queued up. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some... Uh, we'll get some glory out of this. Yeah. I want this... I want this tower finished as well. I mean, you've had long enough. Yes. How far along are you? 2 out of 10 logs, 15 out of 15 planks, 10 out of 10 stone. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's get those burgages up. Oh, everyone's happy at the moment. Uh, clothing market supply is, is uh, improving life. That's good. Church level's good. Market variety's good. We're bound to get people moving in. In which case, I am going to need those extra burgages. So if I don't put anybody else to work for a bit... Then that should help. There's some more money. Hey. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Two months of fuel. Feels like it should be more, though. Harvest. What? Wait. What? Wait. What? <laughs> Har harvest is occurring. Harvest is occurring. Right. Now, the very first thing I did on this stream is I told them, do not sell the wheat. So, we'll see whether or not they abide by that. I am anticipating seeing one of these two numbers happen. Failing that, this number happening. Yeah. Yeah. Flog some planks for Dosh. Uh, thanks, Marcus. Chuck two, uh, two, 20 of your Swedish crowns in the bucket. Um, no. The, the reason for that, it's not a terrible idea, except that it, I have previously run out of planks routinely uh, and as such I would rather avoid running out of them in the future now maybe once I have a super abundance I'll have a look around storages in a moment or two and see what it looks like still nothing this is what happened last year yeah okay check this nothing this is what happened last year. Yeah. Slow, slow down, slow down. Oi, Barbara, what you pack in? No, that's the field. You're not talking to Barbara. You're talking to the field. Talk to Barbara. Barbara? Barbara? Give me, tell me about yourself, Barbara. Tell me of your home world, Usul. No, not happening. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, at the moment, I don't know what to reckon. Because there's nothing in here. No. Right. There's seemingly nothing in there. Yep. This is reporting that we have nothing. Uh-huh. I think you're just going to have to ride it out and see what happens when the harvest is 100%ed. It is at 90%. Storage. Storage. Two wheat. What? No. <laughs> exposed stocks 
Are you just leaving it lying out there? Because you better flip it, not be. Pick it up as you go. Or I'll burn this entire thing to the ground. And then where will you be? There we go. Oh, I've got two. Two? You've got to be kidding me. This field is pigging and massive. Now, unless two means 2,000 tons, I'm going to be slightly disconsolate with you. I've got lots of you people employed here. I've got two. Don't make me go on a burning rampage. I've spent a lot of good land on this job that at the moment does not appear to be yielding me anything. Is there any in here? No, don't be ridiculous. All right, but I thought there was a chance. Right, let's turn it on anyway. And maybe some of it will manifest over there. Two! Get out of it! No, 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 no. What about now? One! Brilliant. Oh, because they've shucked it. Ah, yes, of course. So they've they've taken the two that were there and turned it into one. Brilliant. And now I've got two flour. Ah, oh, how fantastic. Go and do something useful, like bury yourself in the corpse pit. You useless bunch of scum. This is the second year that you've had to get good at this. And you're not. And I see no reason. At no point have you said, you know what, uh, boss, we're going to yield about one grain. Bandits just came in and stole your fruit. <laughs> yeah. Does it need manure for fertility? I'm leaving it fallow. It just needs to be 600 times larger. Yeah, yeah, clearly. Although, the comments I got last week were, <laughs> your field is so large. <laughs> Classic kernel building a field that's too... It's not, though, is it? It's not too large if it's only yielding two bloody wheat. I'm going to write a letter to my MP. That's not good enough. And we're out already. Yeah, you've already, you've already done it all. Advanced. Great. Yeah. It's a swizz. That's what it is. Farming is a swizz. It doesn't work. It's obviously broken. Oh, I'm, the, I'm appalled. <sighs> Fertility was at about 5%. I don't care about that. No. I, should, I mean, even with low fertility, that should have brought in... 10? I don't think 10. I would have still been outraged by 10, but 10 would not be unreasonable. But 2, because that means that a full field, if it was at 5% fertility, would bring in 40. No. 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 No, I'm not having it. You might as well knock it off, mate. There you go. Go back and build something. Yeah, I don't know. All of those years of training in windmill school, and it has led to naught. All right, have we turned it into bread already? Oh, almost certainly. Yep, it's gone. Right, go and work on something useful. I don't know, like banging your head against the wall. What an absolute crock. What a lot of rubbish. Well, yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to gripe about it some more and then get over it and figure out a different way of making some food. Should have bought sheep. Should have bought sheep. Yeah. Not enough supplies. No, because I was anticipating a bumper flipping harvest. Is that what I got? No, I did not get a bumper harvest. I got bumped by the harvest. The harvest bumped me and bumped me real good. Thomas has been a member of the Fable Game for six long months and has pressed the button by way of celebration. Lovely. Yeah. Right, what's the fertility at? It is at 6% this year. The following year, it's going to be at 6%. Fallow. Right, yeah, no. Second year, fallow. Okay, let's see what year three can bring. But for now, all that's dead to me. It's all dead to me, all of it. Every last shred of that is dead to me. 
Oh, it's winter. You're all going to die. And you only have yourselves to blame because you're crap farmers. I refuse to take any responsibility. I'm going to have to trade some food in. What about the free meat that you're getting? I believe that when I see it. Oh, the, the, the bandits have turned up and stole some logs. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I've got two vegetables, 15 berries and four eggs and no honey. What's going on with the honey? Why is the honey giving me the runaround? Am I flogging it? I didn't think I was. Pretty sure I'm not. You've actually got... No, that's just a granary, regular style. Okay. Food is down to 12. People are gonna die and they're not gonna like it. Typically, they don't know. It's cold. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, what are you gonna do? Not much I can do. Uh, Lix has uh, chucked 11 quid in the bucket. Uh, you want to add to Zwow. That's, that's the name of the place. Zwow. Uh, you want to add to their winter f food budget. They can't eat Euros, Lix. No, it's not very tasty. You, you could possibly make a shirt out of them, but that's about that's about all you'll do. Yeah. It's not gone well, has it? No, it's gone flipping disastrously. There's new mercenary companies available. Maybe we could eat them. Yeah. Get your trading post. Trading post. All right. Let's uh, trade. Yeah. Slow it down. All right. Buy flipping food. You're going to have to pay for it. Yeah, I appreciate that. What's cheap? And I don't mean the initial price here. I mean the ongoing price. Well, for two quid, you can have veg. You can have eggs. Uh, both of which I actually had. Uh, they're the last remaining supply. Uh, and then meat. Yes. Should have taken the cheap whatnot. There's a lot of things I should have taken, but I didn't, did I? So sharp. Uh, right. Grab that. Yep, establish it. Right, and then import, please. Right. How many do you want in? Keep going until I've got a minimum of 15 in. 15 feels strong. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's still going to be a couple of, couple of hungry days going on. A couple of hungry days. Could I buy the wheat and then still... That's a good idea. Hold on. Uh, trade. Wheat. Wheat. Purchase price, two. I've already got a trade thing arranged as well. Import wheat. Import price of 12. Good gracious me. Um, okay. Yeah. Keep it coming then. We, we need to find another cash crop to export. Yeah, can't make candles yet. No. Can't make tiles yet. No. Ha. Huh. Uh, you could sell tools. Tools, you were actually bringing some in. How much do they go for? How much have I got left? I've got 383 quid. So all is not lost on that front. Tools, are they under construction maybe? Nope. Are they under materials? Tools. I'm getting completely swizzed on these pricings. It's costing me... Uh, charcoal, par exemple. Uh, I can flog it for a fiver. And if I want to buy it, it costs me 15 quid. 15 quid! Come off it! That's extortion. Yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting one quid per lump of clay. Oh, great! Yeah. Drink it in. I'm selling off my surplus iron slabs as I get them and get four quid each. I'm being... I'm being done here. I'm just getting... I'm getting done. I am making something out of hides. Oh, yeah. What am I making out of hides? Oh, war bows. Could I sell those? Because I was making those at a rate of knots. Five or a go. It's better than nothing. Let's do it. Yeah, let's flog them. Yep. Make sure you click the right button. Okay, hang on. War bows. I was making them super quick, though. Uh, export. Export. How many do I want to keep in stock? Ten. Ten ought to do it. Right. This could create quite a lively amount of dosh. Could. Yeah. Tiles is going to be the way to go. I should have bought tiles with the last development point, but I'll get it on the next one. Um, that's fine. Meanwhile, starvation. No fuel. Oh, for f All right, put the fuel monkeys back in operation. Uh, where did you have them? Around. There's one here. All right. Get working, you. 
Right. In fact, I might double up the work on both of you. You've been working like, the entire time. No, no, no. Don't just run a market store. There's 25 in there. Take it to the chuffing market. People are chilly. What's the matter with you clowns? Oh, dear. I, just, I mean, I might as well not have these ox people. They barely do anything. They just kind of go, check it out. Smack. Turn the, turn the bow you back on. I can afford to. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it was over here somewhere. Was it? Yeah, look. It's here, look. It's a Fletcher's shop. Right. Now, it took you a while to find... No, I found it. There you go. Unpause the bu Unpause the building. I'm pretty sure you have done. Okay. The church level could be a level higher. I have to make a stone church. Well, let's do that. How do I do that? I could probably run to that as well. Although, how much stone have I got? Don't worry about it. Uh, 39. Still, I've got an absolute monkey load of planks. Yeah, but I'm about to turn those into bows. And then turn the bows into flour. And turn... I've got... I've got seven wheat in. All right. Oi, you. Come back from your night course at the windmill school. Get to work. All right. And the communal oven. You can get to work and all. Right. How's my building project going for new housing to entice in people who want to come and live in a... Mind you, if we hang on a couple of minutes, I won't need new houses. Because everybody will be dead. Uh, starvation. Well, I'm out of money. Yeah, I think you just spent it all on wheat. Oh, gee whiz. Did I get some meat at least as well? Nope. I've got honey. Hey, that makes a change. Oh, it's so rare to actually have some honey in stock. Uh, super. All right. We can eat the oxes. Oxen. Well, you can, uh, you can do what you like to the oxen, but I don't think it's going to help you particularly. Uh, right. Okay. The numbers are still there. They live. The numbers are there. Okay. 13 food, 21 fuel. 24 fuel. Good. Good. The fuel wizards are doing their thing. 14 food. What sort of food, though? Oh, some meat rocked up. Do you think we bought it? Hard to say. We're playing the hard commerce now. Um, yeah. Sack the grave digger. I don't, I don't have a grave digger at the church. See? No one. Good. Uh, I did, however, have someone down the uh, down the death pit, which again I've lost. It's here. Look, All right. you can come back now. He's going to come back and go. I've been so lonely, and he's going to go. Well, okay, but you've you've done everything that we asked of you, and therefore it's all good. Have we got anybody working in Berryland? No, not until the new year. Fine. Okay, policies are available. Ah, whatever. How's the food? Two months of food, one month of fuel. The numbers are going the right way. I think we have staved off death for now. Are you operational? Well, I've got a, I've turned the uh, the roundabout on, but none of the kitty winkies are coming to ride it. I haven't even got Simon Le Bon strapped to one of these at the moment. If you know, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll see. Yeah. No, I've. I've reached the stage of yelling at these idiots for not looking after themselves. Trash wheat at the farm. Thrash wheat, thrash wheat at the farm. Good point. Does it need threshing? I'll put an idiot in here just in case it does. Stocks have been damaged by weather. Great. Thanks. At the storehouse. Why even, why even flipping have a storehouse then? Hmm? Sorry, can't hear you. Why have a storehouse if it's just going to lead to my stocks getting ruined? If you can't answer that question, I'll answer it myself. Uh, I've got no money to set up anything new. We've got eight crops in stock now. I bought some more wheat. Now all we need is for the wheat to find its way to where it needs to go. It's because they've never seen it before, you see. Yeah. Uh, if they if if they they go, what is this? I don't know. What on earth is this strange, miraculous substance? I have no idea. 
Ah, cure it. They all look, there's the wheat. There's some grain. Oh, it's all happening. I've got eight in my pantry. Well, it's nice to know where it's supposed to be stored. Yeah, terrific. Now, take it out of there and go and give it to Windy Miller. Uh, yeah, Windy's going, well, come on in. You could go get it yourself, Windy. It's just down the road. That's why I put you here. Seriously, just come on. Come on. Upgrade it. I can't upgrade the uh, the farmhouse, not the moment. I could upgrade my storage houses. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Hang on. Hang on. Storehouse. Upgrades to large storehouse. Increases generic storage to 2,500. Oh, is that iron it needs there? Yeah, and it's 46 tools. That's a lot of tools. But it does give you an absolute massive amount of storage. I'm booking it. Yeah. Massive amount of storage. And it might store, solve some of my storage problems in the short term. Uh, because people are too busy, you know, businessing. Now, I do need to shove some people around, though. Uh, I've got 79 fuel going on now. Yeah. Which they're saying is three months worth. Right, okay. Stop chopping stuff down. I'm going to put you to work in the iron mine. And they're going, oh, what? Yeah, 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 I'm putting you to work in the iron mine. Uh, which is here. Right. There you go. Go and get some iron in. Uh, what about my iron forging capabilities? Well, I've had this going all the time, and Matey Boy has not been complaining about not having any iron ore to play with. He's just been going, if I keep my head down, I've got an easy life here. Uh, just kind of going... How's it going, boss? Clang. Well, Clang. Oh, no. I'm, I'm doing what you told me. Clang. Clang. Yeah, 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 yeah. You conniving individual. I, from here on in, you are to... Like, this dude's doing the same thing. He's going, no, boss. Great. It's all... No, I'm so... Ooh, so busy. So, so busy. Gracious. I've never been quite so busy in my entire life. I'll just give him a face, like this one. Me, yeah. Me. And then I'll throw him in the corpse pit. Yeah. yeah. That's, that, I mean, that's, I think that's going to be the solution to many things from here on in. Either you work, or I'll throw you in the corpse pit. We're up to 21 food. Nice. Uh, I've processed all my wheat. Oh, my wheat's all gone. There's nothing in there. What have you just stolen? What have you just stopped? Now, this white powder that the bandits have stolen, it could be previously unmentioned cocaine uh, that we might have just been happening upon, or they might have just nicked all the wheat that I just ground up. What do you think's more likely? And then they sold, they nicked some whatever the heck that is. I don't know what that is. What is that? That is... Yeah, I know. Here they are. I might send the lads out to go and get... This bandit camp, they're miles away. Oh, I'm not going to march all the way over there. No, no, no. Where's King Nobby the Great, or whatever his name is? Why don't he go and batter him a bit? I just want to be left alone for a while until I feel like I'm in charge, which I really don't. Um... Just, oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, they just whipped all my flour. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> that's just evil. That's, that's entirely unreasonable. No, Wendy, you can, you can go back to doing something else. Go and build something, right? You're all done as well. There you go. I'm glad we spent all of our money on that. That was well worth it. Uh, Christian's been a member of 22 months. Retrieve the cocaine. Um, no. No, there you go. You'll go back. You'll go back to work. There you go. That's it. Go build something. Why don't I go nick some of their gear? Because it's going to take thirty of my people out of the town for I don't know how long. Uh, I've finished my large storehouse though. Hey, yeah, look at it. That store's two and a half thousand. Now, if I could just persuade a few people to go and get all the stuff and bring it here, that'd be great. And then maybe i don't know 
uh, World War II German guard towers, just because those guys could really work a search line, uh, out the front there. Machine gun nest, trip mines, um, uh, and a couple of auto turrets out of aliens. Please? That would be terrific. Let's have that. Yeah. No, uh, I mean, it's not much to ask, is it? I, I think that might keep us solvent. Uh, we're at ten wild animals. I imagine we, we keep we keep smacking them around. Build a wall? No, 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 not yet. Full retinue will do it fully armed. You won't need a full militia unit. No, 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 no. I don't believe that. I think I'll just get my retinue killed. And where's the where's the benefit in that? Army. I mean, I've got five lads in the retinue. Yeah. Tab. Oh, tab. Uh, attack four, anti-armor one, shield of 31, and armor of 11. These guys are bobbins. Yeah. These guys are lousy. All right. All right. Come on in, retinue. Rally. Uh, where are we rallying? Right at the edge of the chuffing map. We're going to go and kick some bandits. Yeah. And if you get killed, ah, fine. There you go. Go stand there. Yeah, there you go. All right. We're off to see the wizard. And by wizard, I mean bandits. Hire some mercs. That's money. There they are. Right, we're here. All right, lads. Okay, let's go get them. Pick up the pace. All right, march, march, march. March, say, march, say, march, say. Uh, let's go. Where are you going? No, no. March, say, march, say. Where are you, Why are you going up there? I click here, and it's saying we want to go up here first. Well, why? Why? Because the others hadn't turned up. Oh, for pity's sake, boys. What's the what's this bar at the bottom? Fatigue. They're already knackered. I haven't asked you to do anything yet. What are you idiots doing up here? Nothing. They're trying to go here. Run! Yeah, well, don't run. Just... Move there we go. Right, now. That way. Please follow my very simple instructions. They're not hard. There you go. Now we're rolling. All right, good. Now, slow it down. I shall now issue you your next instruction. I don't even care if these are the right people or not. Go and burglarize these clowns. Here we go. Yeah. It'll be five less people to feed. There you go. See? That's thinking. Uh, the, they are already pooped. Good. Well, I mean, they crossed the border after all, so uh, hardly surprising, is it? There you go. They're charging around. All right. Now. If I wait for a minute, how close are we? Uh, please hold. Oh, they're a way off yet. All right, come to about here. Advance. Advance indeed. Yeah. We've got some wheat in again. All right, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. They seem to be coming out to say hello, and you're exhausted. Okay, wait there. Uh, missile alert. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Okay, here we go. Regain your fatigue. Right, here we go. Because, as said in the chat, my retinue will be able to solo this. So, let's see them do that. Uh, yep, here we go. They're in there. Yeah, it's happening. Okay, it's five versus a few more than that. 16. 16 v5. But these guys are like hardcore. They're nails. Where am I? Here I am. Come on there, kittens! Oh, this is this is where you want Sabutio. She should be here. She'd be great at this while we fight these looters. Oh, there's there's one. We've not one over. It's not one of mine, is it? Nope. Lovely. Come on, lads. You can do it, fellas. Do you want to move this way and influence the balance of power? And we got another one. Yeah, that's another one down. Watch out! Yes, watch out by uh, definitely. Oh, you've got one of your own. Uh, he's one on one with this guy. Thwap him in the head and move to assist. Flank, flank him. Do a flanking move. Oh, I know he parried that one nicely. Okay, that that went well. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Uh, we did say full retinue of twelve. No, you didn't. 
No, you said send your retinue. So I did. This is my retinue. I have sent them. We're doing well, though. We've got at least a... Oh, yeah. We. I mean, this fella's taking his time. He's clearly hopeless. Uh, but these two blokes are getting it done. I don't fancy these two chances. Although, them using effectively shield wall formation hasn't helped. Oh, hang on. We're going in. We're bringing the Halley into action. Or is it a bar dish? It's probably one or other. Or maybe... Hold on. I think we lost one. Let's do a quick head count. Yeah, we lost one. Oh, no. I lost Billy Bardish there. Yeah. Oh, and another one. Two down. Oh, that's not gone well. Well, retinue fanciers. Uh, you were wrong. Yeah. Dead wrong. And we're running away. Fight me. I, I'm still here and I've got a sock on my head. Don't sit there acting all smug. Look. We offed a whole bunch of your mates. Yeah, we came in here and we mugged you off. How do you feel about that? Now stop stealing all my stuff, you little git. Yeah, right. There we go. Good. All right, so in summary, no, that didn't work. However, we have got some experience now. How terrific. Where are they? In the trees. Ah, good. Okay, right. Well, look, I'll tell you what. Stop being in the trees. Go and muster there. If we'd had full uh, full morale going... Uh, uh, full for no, there's only two left. Cool. And they're busy for a bit. Right. That didn't work. Thanks for the suggestion, though. Uh, and that's... I'm glad I followed through on that one. Uh, T. Uh, I, it proved to be a minor diversion there for a moment. Yes, and as rightly pointed out, fewer mouths to feed. Send more. <laughs> yeah, because it went so well the first time. I mean, I could go mob handed and celebrate. I'm at 87% approval. Wow. Yeah, not so much this month, but the previous one, they were loving it. They were loving it. Uh, we're also maxed out on housing. Uh oh. Did I not order these burgages to be built? No, you didn't because you were out of materials. Good point. Right, let's order them now because I've actually got a workforce that will turn them around quite quickly. Uh, right. Where'd you want them? Somewhere useful, really. Okay, where's that? I don't know. Uh, start here and let's build some over there. Can we get three in here, maybe? Uh, you can get four if you, if you twizzle it a little bit. They'll be an exciting shape. Yeah, do it. Okay, good. Get them done. Okay, I, I, that's not going to be enough. We're going to need more than that. Be, build out a bit of road. Well, you've got this big bit of land here they can build on. That's true. I mean, that land is basically useless. Ah. I'm, I'll think about it. I'll take it under advisement. Uh, but let's just let's build one of these out here. Yeah. And then maybe, you know, it goes around there a bit and does some of that. Okay. And then here. Right. This is, that's exactly, the, I'm, I see, I'm playing it realistically. This is exactly how uh, things worked in, in feudal times in the UK. Uh, or not the UK as it was at the time. Um, is they just kind of went, yeah, just, just wiggle that over there. Why? Because it's easier than, there you go, that's that's burgages for days. Sorted. 22 logs. Get it done. Make it happen. Right. Do you want to level two some more burgages? Uh, well, what happened to all... I had... I, I did. Hold on. There we go. I've got 10 wheat. All right, kids. Let's try this again. How's the food situation? It's okay. It's not awful. Could be worse. All right. Let's take two of them. Get in here. No, not that. No, no. We're, that's not a button we're pressing again anytime soon. Uh, right. Come on, kids. Come and thrash me wheat. Yeah. That's not a euphemism. Yeah. Resource has been stolen by bandits. What have they stolen this time? What the hell is that? Acorns. I think it might be clay. Oh, and they stole some iron. Well, obviously, because I'm making it now. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, the pantry's starting to get stocked up. 
It's nice to see people actually working for a living for a change. Yeah, you've got some threshed. All right, put one man on threshing. Windy, get to work, son. Uh, good. Right. Yeah. Okay, this is... We're at 92% flipping approval. Yoink. Yeah. You might want to tax them a bit. No, I need the money. Uh, for my my burgeoning trade empire, uh, which is empirical. Yes. Yeah, burgeoning. Burgeoning. There you go. Windmill's got some of this in there. All right. Summon the baker. One times baker. Let's go. At least turn it into bread this time before it gets nicked. That would be that would be beneficial. Yeah. yeah. Now, when are these burgages crop up? Because my approval rating is so high, I will have a massive influx of people. Mercifully, it is berry season. <laughs> Woohoo! Berry season. So I can uh, I can get some berries on the go to keep the food situation in hand. Uh, what do we got? People are cold. I don't give a toss. Look, it's Darwinism, all right? They'll either make it or they won't. There you go. Bread. We've got bread. We have made bread. Bread has been made by us. Splendid. Oh, fabulous. And a new burgage is done. And that'll be occupied within seconds. Which one have you built? Where? Which one have you built? Did you build a silly one first? Oh, no, no, you've, you've got some more over here. Oh, I have, yeah. Hello, Jeff. Uh, yeah, here's the, here's the new housing estate going up. All right, you know what they need? What? Chickens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Issue a chicken demand there. Okay. Right, yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to do... Hang on, let me just handle this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Jeff? Shush. Yeah. There you go. Right, you can have that much. There you go. Yes, no, you've got five minutes. Maybe, let's call it eight. Okay, and then I'll go and feed you. Um, right, let them eat cake. I'm letting them eat bread. They should be grateful for that. Uh, yeah. Okay, and eggs. I mean, they're all going to be ripped because the protein they've got coming in is magnificent. We've got loads of firewood now. Right, get the firewood plums to stop plumbing for a bit. There you go. Stop that for a bit. Okay. They're not quite... Uh, in order just yet. Down at the field. The field's fallow. Now, third year, it's now reporting 19% fertility. And there's the new family moving into that burgage plot. It's good. I'm going to let them. Uh, you've got nothing in store right now. We've got no wheat going on. But you know what? We're rotating through this quite regularly. It might be worth leaving you on staff. No, because you're using three people and they're not doing anything. I mean, you're working because we've got flour coming in. And you're working because we're cooking that flour and turning it into something tasty, tasty. Yeah. Is it on the market? No, no, no. That's People are going straight there and going... <laughs> I'll have that. Yeah. That's good. I'll take it to the market for you. Nom, nom, nom. Because... I need some toast and we scramble then. Why are you less happy now than you were? They're not. They're fine. It's all good. All right. Let us in investigate the church. Oh, stone. Yeah. Hold on. I need to figure out stone. Uh, Amy, such fire in the bucket. Thank you, Amy. Uh, late come attacks. You're really enjoying let school. One of my best yet. Well, I'm glad you like it, Amy. Um, because you're in the minority. <laughs> Because the numbers on the Let School series have been in what one might call a slow decline. Um, oh! But uh, but I still enjoy playing it, so that's what matters. Oh, hello, dipsticks. You're 120% effective now. Find that pretty hard to believe. Why don't you go home? Uh, give ground missile alert. No. No. 
disband unit? No. Run to positions? No. Hold? No. Retinue customization? Only available when disbanded. Oh, let's disband them then. There you go. Let's customize them. Oh, lads. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, both of the lads. Can I switch between both of the lads? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Expertise, 14 out of 1,000. Feels good. Uh, recruit men at arms. 50 quid from my personal treasury to hire a retainer who already owns basic equipment. Uh, recruit a ministerial, ministerialis. Promote one of your citizens to your retinue. Oh, it's locked in early access. Oh, right, okay. Uh, and here's number two. He's there. He wasn't very effective, but he didn't die. Yeah, okay, let's go. Is, is this paint? No, this is a, a variety of snazzy helmets. By which I mean four. No, oh, okay, that's a variety. There you go, you can have a pointy hat with some neck protection. Uh, blocking... Get rid of that dopey shield you have. Hey, not a lot of choice. All right, well, let's go with what looks like the most effective shield. Weapon. Hammer time. I could get behind that. Yeah, claims to have... This is Herman. Flipping isn't. Uh, this is Tyrone. Um, uh, ooh, it's not. It flipping is. Don't let me edit it if you're not going to accept it up, Tyrone. You have to press enter. Um, right, there you go. The helmets below the the two helmets below the two. Oh, yeah, and oh, okay. I'm ahead of the I'm ahead of the curve. Uh, right. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, can you have a slightly better? Hey, see, look that look. Look, wearing steel pants is not going to help you stay alive, along with these sporty jodpers. Yeah, big skirty outfit that might work. Mm, yeah, big skirty outfit. That's what I'm into. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's find you something more savage looking. No. What's that? It's an axe. It would be fitting. That's a that's a Warhammer axe. Axe. Right. Okay, what about number one? Well, take a wild flaming guess. He's having the same get up. Uh, he's wearing different colours. Well, why, why would you not wear the nation's colours? A victory and maroon uh right uh, let's go you know what let's let, let's make them all white the color of not surrendering all right there you go yeah purity that's what you represent purity and then you've got why are you using this manky shield don't use a manky shield use the good one uh and then can i level you up treasury cost nine I could try, but it didn't work. Upgrade armor by importing. Yes. Oh, look at him. He looks sporty. Oh, yeah. Now, what's going on here? Uh, some stuff. I see. Okay, helmet. We're, we're happy with the helmet. We're happy with the block unless they've got a better shield. No, we didn't import better shields. Weapons. Axe. Thank you. Right. You haven't earned anything new here, have you? No. Axe. Body. Not that. I hate all of these. What's that? Well, it's slightly feminine armor. Then you may join the Adeptus Custodes uh, and have a jolly good time. Good. That's 103 quid. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's upgrade this clown as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, good hat. But no. That's our hat of choice. He's into it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where is your uniform of purity? We are we are the uniform of purity here. There you go. I've only got... Oh, that's how much money I've got left. Smooth. Right. How do I hire new lads? I need some more lads. Recruitment arms. Yeah. There you go. There's a third one. Super. Right. G him up. There you go. Right. What are you wearing on your body? You're wearing the, the same exercise uniform as everybody else. A uh, uniform of purity, please. Okay. Your name's Nickel. Flipping isn't. Uh, your uh, your Tonya. Yeah. There you go. Nice one, Tonya. Oh, you've got a shield with some patterning going on there. Yeah. Ah, oh, super. Uh, weapon. Axe. No, that's a hammer. 
No. Yes. Right. All right, he's G to G. Oh, he, he can't see where he's going either. It's even better. Uh, there's Tyrone. Yeah. All right, there's Indra's. No, it's not Indra's. Um, uh, and that's Bingo. You know what? You can have your full flipping names if it will allow me. There we go. Right, and then you've got Exponential. Right, and then over here, you've got Tonya Spangle. Super. You want to travel to many sacred sites. Okay, do that in your spare time. You claim to have prophetic dreams. Fine. And you're a foreigner from a distant land. Good. Okay, there we are. Super job. Well done, lads. Now... Clear off and go back to the go back to the castle. Learn how to fight when you're somewhat outnumbered, would you? Because that's I think will probably behoove you. I've got eleven people want to move in. Yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm working. Oh no, no, that's not eleven people want to move in. I've got eleven burgage plots uh, being built. Right now we've got a nice lady called Susan who's uh, showing people around the show home and going. As you can see. It's got a glorious kitchen, and there's lots of room for storage. Lots and lots of storage. So if I can take your interest level, there is support from the government, as it's a new build and you're first time buyers. And that is just your immortal soul. Uh, right, you're still working. Oh, we do have flour on the go. Are you still shucking in here? There is shucking occurring. All right, terrific. That's what we like to see. Are you baking? Hang on. It would be, but uh, the flour hasn't made it this far yet. Well, it's because it turns into paste due to the weather betwixt windmill and bakery. Uh, yeah. I might need to turn the tax back on in order to make some more money for some more lads. I know, Jeff. It's about that time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are we going to turn the tax back on and make people hate me again? Yep. Yep. I haven't got houses for them anyway. Right. Where did you do that before? I was pretty sure I did it at the manor. Uh, fuel reserve people. Taxes. Tithes. A percentage of food is given to the church in return for influence. Oh. Alright. Yeah. But, no. Alright. Give me that. Yeah. Give me 10%. Predicted approval loss quite a bit. I'll live. Okay, now the church can be upgraded to a small church. I need tiles to make a church. So I need to level up some more because I think tiles is definitely going to be it. Definitely going to be it. Food situation, 26. Fuel situation, 53. Wheat situation, don't be silly. Uh, three flour, yeah. Five leather, right. 77 iron ore. You've done well there. All right, I might, I might take them off. I might allow them to come home from iron oring for a bit, uh, which is down here. Yeah, you've got two of them in there. Oh, that was iron ore they nicked previously. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah. All right, fellas, knock that off for a bit. Come in and do something productive. In fact, go over here and get some more stone, one of you, and then the other one can come back and do something productive. Perfect. Yeah. What do you reckon we're selling? Bows would be my guess. Yes. And it's berry time. Ah, oh, good. Right. Stick two people on that. Let's get them rolling. And that will all be good. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm going to go feed the cat. I don't think anything bad's going to happen. So I'm going to leave it running. Uh, Blake has chucked fire in a bucket. Thank you, Blake. Um, uh, you think Edge of Slum is one of my best? I think Edge of Slum is delightful, uh, which is why I'm still playing it. I'm going to leave you looking at the market. Yeah. With a little bit of windmill action in the back. It's a shame the windmill goes all the time and you can't just see it when... Uh, come on, Control C. Or is it Control Shift C? It's Control Shift C. Um, um, rather than only going when... Uh, when it's actually working. Come on, right, come there on. you are. Save just in case. No. Because what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. 
No, I said that with my face. That was intentional. Hey. That's what I said. I said, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Go and get a drink. I'll be back in a minute. Cabbages, turnips. Anywhere. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Hey. Dose of greens, healthy and hearty. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Step right up and sample. Cabbages, turnips. Well, perhaps it was carrots, a bad cabbages, day. turnips. These things do happen from time come to time. Come on, come all. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine sex. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Vegetables, get your daily dose of creams. Healthy and hearty. Vegetables, right up fresh them. You'll swear they was picked this very morning. Vegetables, get your daily dose of greens. Healthy and hearty. And Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Vegetables. Get your well, daily dose of greens, healthy and hearty. Feather, step feather, right up and set for boots, belts and keep your well, heart. Well, anything. Feather, so plump and juicy. If you want to eat them by the bushel. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Come one, come all. Step right, right up and set for fine selection. Step 
get right up and sample. Come one, well, come all. Perhaps it feast your eyes on our fine select. These things do happen from time to time. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Vegetables. Don't be shy, good sirs and Get your daily and dose of greens. Healthy and hearty. Step right up and sample. Vegetables so fresh. Vegetables. Get your daily dose of greens. Healthy and greens. Healthy and hearty. Step right up and sample. Finest hides in all the land. Vegetables. Get your daily dose of greens. Healthy and You'll hearty. You'll find finer wares Berries. anywhere else. Berries. Well, well a a These things do happen from time to time. Berries. Carrots, cabbages, Berries. turnips. Leather, leather. Vegetables, get your daily dose of cream. Leather, leather, healthy and hearty. The boots, belts, and well, anything really. Anywhere else. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Come one, come all. Vegetables so fresh, Keep your heart. You'll swear they was picked this very morning. Well, perhaps it was firewood. simply a bad day. Firewood. Uh, these things do happen from time to time. Leather. Leather. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Melt. Well, anything, really. Berries, Carrots. So cabbages. Turnips. Carrots. Cabbages. Turnips. Leather. Perfect. for boots. Melt. Well, anything, Berries. really. Berries. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad day. Oh, these things do happen from time to time. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Cheating? Never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook from leather. Leather. Cheating? Never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook from Step right up and sample. Don't be shy, good so sirs and ladies. Step right up and sink for yourself. Poor quality. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad man. These things do happen from time to time. Poor quality, he said. Possibly. Finest hides in all the land. Keep your half warm. Vegetables so fresh. You'll swear they was picked this very morning. You eat them by the bushel. Come one, come all. Leather, leather. Feast your eyes on our fire. Come one, selection. come all. Feast your fire eyes on our fire. Leather, leather. Don't carry shy, cabbages, and ladies. Cheating him? Never. Thank you, Tim. And to Rodder, who has been a member of the Fail Brigade of 48 long months. Whoops! Commence weathering. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Step right up and sell. Keep your half warm. Well, your home. Perhaps it is simply a bad day. These things do 
Right, well look, we've got weather going on here. The entire place hasn't burnt down. I've got fuel, I've got food. Uh, let us commence and deal with the weather while this is just doing something in the background. That seems like fun. Uh, it's 8 Celsius and clear in Kildare. Uh, it's 28 Celsius and cloudy in Tapaheen in Thailand with a high of 40. Ottawa is 9 and cloudy with a slight chance of minstrels. 7 Celsius... Uh, with a real feel of five in Bexley. There's nothing between seven and five in the Bexleys. Uh, South East London's been dry and sunny and somewhat pleasant. Nine in Bristol, six and cloudy in mid-Cornwall. 80 Fahrenheit in Manteca in California. Groningen in the Netherlands is five Celsius with occasional showers. Uh, west of Washington, uh, cloudy and windy, 65 degrees. And that's in the Freedom Heights, uh, 66, sorry. <clears throat> Let's say that again because that sounded like 66 there. No, that's not what I meant. Six Celsius, mostly cloudy in Shrewsbury. Uh, in Salopia, I didn't realise that was the case. Uh, sunny and eight. High River, Alberta, 88 Fahrenheit and sunny in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. 11 and cloudy in Timaru, New Zealand. Malta's 15 with clear skies. Karlsruhe, uh, no matter what the weather is right now, it's 30 seconds. It's different because it's April. True. Uh, 20 Celsius or 2 Celsius. Uh, and cloudy and windy in Pilsen, 2 Celsius. Uh, 11 uh, in uh, Perth in Western Australia. 31 today, later on, which will be pleasant. Uh, 7 with a bit of wind in Rayleigh in Essex. 72 Fahrenheit in Bumpers, Virginia. Lansing is doing something. Yeah, I know. I, I pressed a button and everything went mad. Uh, you've got quite a few to get through. All right, I'll get through them. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to find Lansing. Seven and Patchy Cloud. Jolly good. Sorry, cat up my schnoz, as usual. Uh, 13 Celsius with a top of 21 in the Blue Mountains, New South Wales. Tallahassee in Florida, it's freaking hot. Uh, mostly sunny and five Celsius in Ottawa. Uh, 10 and uh, clear enough to see a decent moon, and that's in Oldham. Um, Kildare. No, you, that was just a comment. Arctic Circle, it's 10 Celsius and the snow's almost gone. Um, six and clear in Leiden in the Netherlands. Uh, cloudy, dry, six degrees, Nottingham. 33 and sunny in southern Arizona. Uh, five and mostly clear on the Yorkshire coast. It's 40 and overcast in Denver, which is in Colorado, just in case you didn't know. I think everyone knows it's in Colorado. I think the majority of people even tell you which stadium the Broncos play in. Um, three Celsius and raining in Banska Bistrica in uh, Slovakia. Uh, five Celsius, partly cloudy in Norwich. Uh, weather, I was I was up in your neck. I was at Yarmouth. I was in Yarmouth today. Oh, yeah. That's very nice, it was, because there were no tourists, apart from me. Um, yeah, no. It was just, it was sunny, it was blowy, and there were no people. It was beautiful. Uh, six degrees of mostly cloudy in Portsmouth. Uh, uh, four Celsius and cloudy in Berwickshire, 17 in Auckland, New Zealand, 74 Fahrenheit and mostly sunny, Statesville, North Carolina. Uh, yesterday, 30 Celsius and sunny in Cuba. Uh, today, 10 Celsius and cloudy in Toronto. Nice. Uh, six Celsius and rainy in Dortmund, seven and sunny in High Wycombe, eight in Toronto and dreary. Birmingham is clear and calm. Probably also dreary. Uh, 18 in Lisbon in Portugal. Uh, 43 Fahrenheit in sunny Cameron, Wisconsin. Uh, 50 Fahrenheit in Mino, Minot. Minot? Minot. Mino. Minot. Dunno. North Dakota anyway. Pick one and one of them will probably be closer than the others. Uh, and that makes everybody happy. Uh, tonight's professional weather forecast for Newark is dark. 
Uh, slightly to the left of Jeff, 12 Celsius, and it's raining again for a change. Uh, in the 60s and sunny, boring on the South uh, San Francisco Peninsula. There's nothing nothing boring about sunny. No. Take Los Angeles, for example. Yeah. Los Angeles, it's sunny all the time. If, if it rained in Los Angeles as much as it does in Birmingham, in this country, uh, then the two would be very, very similar. Uh, because of so much concrete. A couple of palm trees does not make you pass. Uh, just saying. Just putting it out there. Um, <clears throat> uh, it is 56 Fahrenheit uh, for the uh, Cincinnati bagels. Uh, yeah, Or the cinnamon bengals. Depends on your, on your choice. Um, 43 Fahrenheit uh, and windy in Austin. Uh, the one in Minnesota rather than the one in Texas. Uh, Omaha and Nebraska... On the little house in the prairie, it's 10 Celsius, which is 50 Fahrenheit, apparently. Uh, please fact check if you could be bothered. Um, 41 Fahrenheit, cloudy in Beaver, Wisconsin, with a fire in the fireplace. Lovely. Uh, Paris is 7 and cloudy. 20 and dry in Peterborough, inside the house. Why not? Uh, why not, my not? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Fine. I could go with my not. Uh, my not North Do North Dakota. Thank you, Lady Katie Rose Louise has chucked a tenner in the bucket. Thank you, uh, much appreciate. You couldn't you couldn't be in the live because you're out with the girls, so you thought you'd send a bit of love. Well, I appreciate that. You should have spent it on another sherry, or no, if you're out with the girls, you you pass the prosecco course by this stage, and you'll be into. Uh, now you're either going to be. Uh, you get split in, it depends what you and the girls are up to because you'll either be having a meal in which case it will be the white wines out um, or you'll be getting on the lash in which case it's either doubles and a mixer or it will be uh, cocktails of choice in which case might I suggest a Manhattan um, uh, thank you uh, Katie appreciate it uh, 10 degrees Celsius in Basingstoke for Alberg in Austria it's, it's 1 degree rain and snow that sucks unless that's what you want Zotomir is 6 Celsius with occasional rain hey. 11 and sunny in Fargo North Dakota 74 Fahrenheit and sunny in the Bay Area uh, acorns are dangerous. Uh, oh my God, they'll be into the champagne. No, you do champagne early. Champagne cocktails depends on the bar, and it depends if it's real champagne, which it probably won't be. It'll be some kind of nasty spoo man too, <laughs> or similar. Right there you go. Let's have a look and see if the village has burned down. Oh, hold on, it's Miami. You don't know the temperature. It's sunny and hot, and you're on the couch. It says mmm, uh, and you're probably right. How are we doing then? We now have. 38 living space, 34 of which is occupied, four of whom are unassigned. Approval rate is 87%. The money hath not gone up. Hmm. Yeah. Why is that then? I don't know. And I've got cat up my nose. We are on four months food, which is loads, and two months of fuel, which is fine. Uh, I've still got plenty. Of, I, I know I'm not producing any firewood at the moment, but all this is acceptable. I've got four flare. That's good. 61 iron ore still. Five iron slabs. This is all good. Someone else has just moved in. That's good too. Thank you, auto save. Then we've got 242 plank. I could probably move someone off plank production for a bit. Uh, just give them a breather because I imagine I've got yeah yeah you've got an I've got a surplus of plank producers going on there yes uh where's my no, no, that's the logging camp oh yeah yes yeah, here you want no I've only got one plank producer and they're busy flogging planks oh okay yeah get get the logging back on the go or do you want to leave it for a bit to uh fallow out no 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 we've been maintaining a healthy amount of construction mats so, that's con mats, my friend. Con mats. Uh, yeah. Uh, Woodcutter's Lodge. Do you want to start getting this on the go? I need to move this, really. There ain't a lot left for him to chop down. Okay. Well, let's move it then. Uh, well, I do like to move it. Move it? Yeah. I like to what? Move it. Ah. There you go. Sit there. Okay. Right. And then, no, oh, it's got to be rebuilt. Oh, how how dreadfully boring. Um, right. 
Okay, the uh, we're maintaining 10 in the wild animal store. Uh, Johnny One Bloke there is getting the job done. That's good. How are we going at the cooking? You're waiting for deliveries, but that's acceptable. At the windmill, nothing doing in there. No remaindered wheat at the moment. I might experiment with leading, leaving one bloke in here. Because I have a suspicion that he might actually be doing some work to help with the defallowization, uh, fertilizing uh, efforts. You know? Maybe. Yeah. If we can get through this by by trade, so uh, so staving off potential disaster by trading routinely, then that will probably probably work out. Probably. Right. What else are you going to do? I'm going to rally my troops and I'm going to go and burn those flipping bandits down. Is that wise? It might not be, but at the moment, well. I, how much food have you got? You've got four months of food. This is going to be a, a one-week campaign. All right, let's rock and flip and roll. I've got loads of lads. This is true. I have got loads of lads. We can go and absolutely kick their faces in. They've got missing equipment. Well, we'll uh, they'll just have to uh, do it in the same way as uh, the Russians did in World War II. You, run with the sword. You, run behind the man with the sword. You're still rallying because I've got our five troops equipped. Guess the retinue's not coming then. Uh, oh, I like to move it. What year was it? Oh, I might get close with this. I'm going to go for... 96. That's my... That's my estimate. Yeah, 96, I reckon. You're going to tell me, aren't you? Please tell me. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to remember to look it up afterwards. Yeah, right. Okay, good. Can't find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. We're selling them. Just FYI. There you go. Right, there you go. There's the spear, lads. Yes. It wasn't 96. Well, tell me. You can't ask the question. I mean, you've got good 93. Was it really? Huh. Okay. Thank you. Right, here come the archers. And we've got a flag. Oh, come on. We've got a flag. We're on flame unstoppable. All right, team. Let us rock and roll over the border. Uh, which is, make sure we go over the correct border. Otherwise, this will be a rather fruitless mission. Right, we're going down here. We're going to go and wail on the remainder of them. All right. Charge. Gently. That's run to position. No. Just stroll it, fellas. Stroll it. Okay. Go easy. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. I mean, I say go easy, but I mean, you know, get there. Obviously, at some point. Okay, they're, they're rolling. They're rolling. Yeah, there we are. It's all gonna it's gonna work out just fine, just fine, just fine. I need to get the money up. Yeah. Why do you think the taxation's not going up? If I had to guess, I would say it's because I am burning through my regional wealth as fast as it comes in. Yeah, but I should be skimming though because it's tax. I should be skimming it as it comes in and putting it to good use. Oh, yeah. Real to real, featuring the Mad Stunt Man. What a great name! What a completely awful name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, look. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you five minutes worth of suggest one track from that era that should go into the hitman uh, the, the, into our into our hitman playlist uh that may have featured on the hitman and her if you're if you're from the uk um uh which was pete waterman and michaela strachan a very strange mix um yeah so yeah you've got to, you get five minutes suggest a track and then we'll we'll leave that topic for later um, I'm going to go, you can go, you can go anywhere from about 87, 88 through the following decade, through to 97, 98. 
Uh, I'm going to have uh, Voodoo Ray. Buy Voodoo Ray. There you go. Yeah, because that's a banger. That's an absolute, that's a total, total banger. Uh, and there's no other way of describing it. The Hitman playlist. I am the Hitman in question. Now, get to work. There you go. Uh, why not? We, we, we haven't covered this topic before, so that's all good fun. I used to watch the Hitman and her after coming home from the club, as did we all. You had to have something on while you were eating a kebab. Right. Yeah. Good. Which, by that point, had soggied its way through uh, the pit of bread and, uh, and most of the paper. Yeah. Deary me. Uh, yeah. Okay, right, we're rolling. Now, the reason that they seem to be upping the tempo a little bit is because I've upped the game tempo. Who's this do dude? Seems to be friendly. Okay. Right. Now, there you go. Yeah, we want a double line there. Okay, you in something of a double line format kind of there. I might even single line you later on. Right, maintain this composition, please, and roll out. Let's go. There we go. Insomnia and I can't get no sleep. Flipping classic. Uh, Depeche Mode, enjoy the silence. I mean, it's a great tune. It doesn't really fit in, though. Uh, it's I I wouldn't call, I wouldn't bang it in there with the club classics you see, but I'll allow it because I didn't state that up front and therefore there are no real rules other than the uh, the date range. Yeah, uh, there you go. Right, good. Uh, Will girls and boys by Blur count towards said playlist? So that's a different kind of night that one. But again, I didn't stipulate, so yes, you can you can have that. Uh, God is a DJ. By whom? Because there's a couple. God is a DJ by Insomnia, I'll allow. Not Insomnia. Um, I can't remember the flipping name of the band. I was only reading it a flipping second ago. Uh, Your Woman by White Town is 97. That's a good tune. It's a good tune. I'll allow that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have that. Again, it's not, not the right kind of night. Yeah, um, yeah, it is insomnia. It is insomnia. Okay, right. Are they in? I don't think they're in. Huh, right. Let's go burn the flipping place down then. Uh, archers, give me some cover. Unless they've, they've already come up to say hi, which it doesn't look like they have. Yeah, just go in and wreck the joint. Uh, Wonderwall by Oasis. Uh, yeah, okay. No, if we're allowing Blur, we have to allow Oasis. Uh, or, you know, Beatles Tribute Band. Uh, there you go. Don't be mean about Oasis. They played some good stuff. New Order by Blue Monday. Uh, doesn't fall in the range. You would have to go with uh, New Order's Blue Monday 94, I think, was the uh, official remix. Because they... They had to keep selling their good song over and over and over and over again because uh, Tony Wilson just lost them all the money. Born Slippy, a bit obvious, but I'll allow it. Show Me Love by Robin S. Well, that definitely fits in, but goodness me, what a terrible tune. Uh, here's, a, here's a message. Oh, yeah. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people who surely need them. Though it is your right to keep it. Send them to the town. New objectives, zero days. Ah. Yeah. There you go. Regional wealth gained, 181. Super. Can we smash it so that they can't ever do it again? I don't know. Maybe you demoralise them after you beat them up last time. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, lads, we're all done here. Come home. Uh, disband. Disband unit can't disband outside the home region. In which case, let's get them just over the border and then disband them. Yeah, right. What else have I missed? Uh, faithless. Faithless. Thank you, Rusty. Um, uh, Godsmack, Godsmack and Voodoo. Yes. Uh, I want to give you devotion. Oh, my giddy aunt. Oh, another wretched tune. But yes, absolutely fits in. Killer by Adamski. 
Yes, uh, but the original one before all of the licensing hoo-ha between him and Seal. Uh, Ebenezer Good by the Shaman is also equally awful. Uh, but yes, that works. Uh, Fat Boy Slim right here, right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exercise Bro Retina. Yeah, only because that's me and we released that in 1990. Ah, I see what you're doing there. You are riding my immense internet popularity to pimp your band. I like it. Um, uh, Smarties, Sesame, Sesame's Treat. If you know, you know. Uh, well, I know the people that wrote that. So, yeah. Uh, what is Love by Hadaway? Obviously a classic. Uh, but was rarely played in clubs. It's only because it was done by... T by uh, um, uh, on... Um, uh, d d uh, Saturday Night Live. That's that's the only reason it maintained uh, popularity. Uh, then you got uh, Get Ready for This by Two Untalented. Yes, Rhythm is a Dancer by Snap. If you're going to choose something by Snap, you choose the power as well. You do as well. You know, uh, Mr. Vane by Culture Beat. Goodness me, that's wretched. Uh, Pump up the Jam by Technotronic. That's a solid gold flipping legendary tune. Uh, Charlie by the Prodigy, yes. Uh, Lady by Mojo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. Again, slightly different night, that one. Uh, Love Inc. and You're a Superstar. I don't know that off the top of my head. I don't know that off the top of my head. Uh, Tim's recommended something from Poland. Uh, the Piersy, uh, the Balkanica text. I don't know. Saturday Night by Wigfield. It's a bit more pop than uh, Club Night, but okay. Uh, too Untalented and No Limit, yeah. Or, in fact, Too Untalented, No Lyrics. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Ecuador by Sash, yes. Energy 52, Cafe Del Mar, yes. Uh, Freed, by, uh, Freed by Desire from Garland. Oh, my God. Yeah. Tub Thumping, oh, no. Yeah. Supposedly Ironic by a punk band. Uh, ended up being a complete sellout. Yeah. Right Here, Right Now by Jesus Jones. Different tune. Right Here, Right Now by Jesus Jones. Yes. Right Here, by Right, right Now by Fatboy Slim. Two different tunes. Jesus Built My Hot by Rod by Ministry. Now you're talking my language. Uh, yeah. Jesus Built My Car. It's a love affair. Mainly me and my hot rod. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll quote you all kinds of bits from that. Anyway, all I want to do is ding a ding dang my dang along ling long. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I've done that album was so influential while I was at university. I did an arts course, right? I did a creative arts course at university. Uh, people might go, "What's a creative arts course?" And I kind of go, "It is." Well, I, we used to sum it up as I'm getting a degree in pointless behaviour. Um, because you take the expressive mediums, right? Okay. Oh, what are the expressive mediums? I'm glad you asked. Uh, they are movement or dance, as you might call it. They are visual arts or drawing and that, uh, as you might know. Um, uh, you've then got the written word and the spoken word. Uh, you've got music and uh, and the idea with the creative the creative arts is uh, is that they are balanced uh, The creative mediums are balanced between one another. I'm not joking. I've got a qualification in this This is what my entire career is based off um, uh, th They are balanced in order to create an interesting and nay stimulating uh, idea of artistic marvelousness. We're done with music now, just so you know. You've had your, you've had your five minutes. Um, yeah, no, and it's, uh, it's terrifically interesting. However, a lot of people, now I wrote quite a lot of music for other people's uh, creations, let's call them. Um, uh, because I was there primarily doing music und drama, uh, despite the fact that I dropped drama in its traditional sense uh, to focus on the experimental stuff you do not want to know um uh, you probably do want to know i am not gonna tell you yeah more codes all right uh yeah none of it's available to see online you could try 
but uh, you won't find anything, not with me. No. I've got some on video, but, uh, but the whole point of it is that uh, I was... Uh, I, 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 I kind of, you know, designed these things and had other people performing them. I much preferred to act in the directorial kind of capacity rather than the performance capacity. Although people would get me in if they needed large, shouty bloke. Uh, and I, uh, that, that was typically me. Yeah. yeah, large, angry, shouty bloke. I'm your guy. Fill me some of that. Yeah, give me. Yeah. Okay, and this one as well. Let's do those. That one's a chicken house already. This one isn't doing anything. Maybe I'll turn that into working up spears. And, and that kind of stuff. Anyway, the Psalm 69 album by Ministry came out. Uh, and a good 50% of people used it uh, as, as their soundtrack for the performances that they were doing. Uh, and the, the rest of the others were either me or one of my two mates had actually written the music for it. Um, but everybody else was using Psalm 69, one track or another. Just One Fix was jolly popular. So there you go. There you go. Colonel in tights. I never had to, to wear tights, but the picture you've got in your head, you're not a million miles off, dear boy. Oh, no. Not a million miles off. Yeah. Uh, right. How's the money? I've made a quid. Okay, right. Well, that's positive movement then. How's the food situation? Uh, it's not food. Food's not a problem. Fuel is there. Okay. Well, that's something that we can work with. Uh, where's my fuel camp down here. Oh, it's here. You probably ought to move that as well. Has this one come online yet? No. Let's uh, expedite that. Right, you can get back to work. We'll slap two on there in order to get us back in the uh, in the fuel market. Did they teach any rhythm clapping at this establishment? Actually, yes. Didn't teach it, but we'd do it because we learned... You know, uh, we did uh, polyrhythms and, uh, and all kinds of atonal claptrap in my music course some of which was really interesting some of it the, the, in fact you could say that about the entire thing some of it's interesting but uh, some of it's a lot of old claptrap when you see tracy emin put her bed on display uh that uh, and you know the bed that she hasn't made and 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 hasn't washed or anything like that she's she's used it for a year and got up to all kinds of things that people get up to while they're in a bed um, that's the kind of thing that we would do as an installation rather than a performance. Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. You want to see me in tights? I didn't... No, 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 no. I never wore tights for any of the performances. Pretty sure I didn't. Uh, no, I, was, I, I spent most of my time wearing black combats. Because um, I'm that cool, allegedly. Uh, but no, no, I didn't have to do anything in tights. The dancers did, and I tell you, you wouldn't take the mickey out of them because they were proper good. The, uh, the the fellas who were there doing dance, they, they were very, very good. Um, and so you might go, oh, that bloke's got no strides on, to quote an advert. Uh, but you kind of go, flipping heck, he moves well, though, doesn't he? You go, he really does. So there you are. Yeah, there you are. This is good. It's, uh, it, it's postmodernist art. There you go. It's a lot of nonsense, but I tell you something. It didn't have to teach me a lot about uh, about thinking uh, and about the interpretation of dramatic stuff. When I take someone who hasn't done an arts course, a degree of this fashion, uh, I took Stegs. I don't, me and Stegs went to a, an art festival last year. Um, big thing at, at Battersea Power Station, so it's huge. And, uh, and Stegs, Stegs came along because I said, do you just fancy going and having a poke around and look at this kind of stuff? Uh, did I like the KLF? I lived for the KLF. Borg, just so you know. I lived for the KLF. Uh, yeah, no. The, the KLF were everything. <laughs> right up until the point they stopped doing it and disappeared up their own backsides. Um, uh, where are you going? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Take, I took Stegs this, this art thing and... And, uh, and I was going, look, the fundamental is, it's the classic. It's the classic what everybody says. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. And I go, that is 100% accurate. Uh, 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ever, I'm not, I'm not gonna ever diss you for going like, huh, how would you like something so, so benign, so, oh dear, it's just, uh, oh, there's nothing to, no, 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 if you like it, it's good, the end, that's all there is to it, uh, there is no further conversation required, because that's accurate, but I would, uh, I'd do quite a lot of, um, we'd, we'd look at something, i go, oh, that's really interesting, they go, really? Why is that? I go, well, look, you can see that they're doing this and that and the other, and they've done this and that. That's really quite clever, and it's a throwback to stuff. There was a lot of rubbish in there, uh, not least of all the number of people ripping off Warhol uh, and his flipping soup cans. And you just kind of go, they go, you will see Campbell's soup cans in a whole lot of stuff, and it's people with no ideas who do that. Uh, and think that they're being clever by being referential to a well-known... Uh, piece of pop art, uh, but at the same time, it's incredibly lazy, and they have nothing fresh to say for themselves. Because I get quite, you know, cynical about such things. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, there you go. That's a that's a little bit of a, a word or two about that truth. Yeah, that that is that. Blokes got no strides on. Go, go cover your eyes. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a Carling ad, right? Yeah, a Carling ad. I think it might have been a Carling ad from the 80s, 90s, something like that. Uh, the whole power station is now flats. Uh, but yeah, but the Bats Batsy Park has a, a really good exhibition centre there. Yes. Yeah. Half the battle with this stuff is having someone with you that has some idea of what they were trying to do. It makes a difference. And he goes, it's really interesting. How do you know all this stuff? I go, I studied it. Uh... And, but, but I didn't study any of this specifically, but I studied how to read it. This is, there you go, this is where it's coming through. If you do art, you read art, and it doesn't matter what format of art it is. It could be a book, it could be a painting, it could be whatever, but it is read. Uh, it could be a performance, it doesn't matter, you read it. And there are, there are two factors to the reading that you take in. One is the intent of the originator, and the other is the perception of the reader. <laughs> hey, flipping. A uh, Foster's in it was Paul Hogan. That sounds reasonable. Yes, beer advert that I was mentioning previously. Would it be great to hear me talk about art? I could. I could. Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert, but I'm trained. Uh, I don't know. I'm far, far from being an expert, but I'm trained and I've got a clearly observable taste, as it were. Uh, I mean, the, I bought, I bought one painting while I was there. Uh, it was not cheap, um, uh, but I bought it because I was still in. Oh well, I look. Ah, here's the. Mm, yeah. Okay. Here's a weird segue for you. There you go. You've triggered a weird segue. Uh, this week is the second anniversary of uh, of herself having left me on my lonesome. Dag damn it. Um, and so I don't know whether I'll be on next weekend or not. But I'll do a battle plan during the week and let you know because uh, I might be doing some family type stuff. But one part of her will to me was that I went and bought a painting. Uh, so I did. And I bought it from this art fair, which is why I was there in the first place. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so I bought, the, I bought this painting. But the stuff that I liked best at that particular festival was... It was clever. Someone had made these small figures. They weren't particularly well made. But they positioned them within a box frame in different... Uh, in different settings and there was one that was of a and, and they all had just an it, they're very very basic but they were the, the the figures were clever it was it, each one was was witty and anybody could read these pictures that was not a it, it's not a complicated read but i appreciated them because they were just so pretty what i bought was by an artist from uh, Malta, which is a big charcoal uh, thing, which was actually used as one of the promotion images for the exhibition. But every time I saw it, I just kind of went flipping out. That's that one really, really talks to me. Really talks to me. Yeah. So that's the one I ended up with. Which my credit card company went. You're welcome. 
Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's settled up now, but at the same time, they went, that's, uh, that's a purchase. And I went, yeah, yeah, it is. That's on the insurance. Uh, but it was it was requested. So there you go. Um, yeah. I don't, I, look, it, it, here's, here's the thing, right? Again, brief segue. Not going to drag the mood down. Not going to not gonna drag the mood down. I'm, I do okay, you know? Uh, I'm still sad. I'm, sta I'm sad all the time. And I will be permanently. Uh, a couple of people have asked, like, you know, oh, moving on. And I kind of go, when the ring comes off, I'm ready to move on. I ain't ready. Not by a long stretch. I've already had the best relationship I'm ever going to have, uh, is the way I see it. I'm in no hurry to try and replace that with someone else. Um, so... Uh, it's fine. You do one day at a time and don't let yourself get bored. That's it. <laughs> That's how you power through. I miss her constantly because, uh, frankly, ridiculous. Frankly, ridiculous how much I love that woman. Um, but uh, but there it is. There you go. Yeah, you didn't want to know, and now you know. Yeah. Right. I'm chancing a bit of wall. All right. We're back. I'm going to talk about the game for a bit now. There you are. Uh, yeah. Let's try this and see if we can reset afterwards if it doesn't work. There's a nice gatehouse. Okay. All right. I could do this as kind of like an inner, an inner keep wall situation, and then see if we can expand it afterwards. This might end up looking rubbish, but you know what? I said we were going to do some castle stuff, so let's have a go. All right. Keep going. Yeah. Now, this is not going to be perfectly circular, but I'm going to try. All right. I like that it auto gate houses. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, yeah. There's a... You can see... The, serious talk about the game. Serious talk about the game. Um, you can spot all of the early access bits. Uh, you can see the bits where you've gone... Okay, I mean this is not just the bits that they've gone. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna fill that out yet. No, you can see the bits where they've gone. You know what? We're gonna work on this later. We've clearly got a bigger idea here, but we haven't quite we haven't quite worked out what it is yet. And you kind of go, all right, that's fine. What's here already? It's pretty decent. Construction cost eighty five and fourteen and ten. Keep it basic, and that way you'll get it built. And then add some more with your next upgrade. I like it. I, like it. I think I need more lads for revenge. What are you talking about? I burned the house down. Yeah. I already, t I already torched all their business. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the towers are ready to expand. Well, we'll look into that. But I'm going to build this inner wall first. Just because I think it will look attractive. No appealing. No more than that. Uh, how are we actually doing on resources? 32 timber, not bad. 139 planks, that's fine. 65 stone, good, that's gone up. Tools, 104. Ah, the smithy is operational. Uh, how are we doing on raw? Uh, 15 flare. Hey. 51 iron ore, 5 slabs, 16 clay. This is actually going the right sort of direction now. Yeah, what's this stuff? Commodities. Oh, we should think about that. I do have... I think I've got a couple of level 2 burgages that aren't doing anything. Tanny, are you doing anything? Not right now. Yeah, but you will be when them goats come good. I reckon. Uh, right, what are you doing? You're a level 2 burgage. At the moment, you've got nothing going on here. And you're right next to the hot zone. What shall we build? How about shoes? Speak to me. Converts all habitants to arsons. Now that's about the job stuff. It enables the production of shoes. Well, that feels beneficial. It doesn't feel particularly exciting. Uh, the joiner's workshop makes shields. Okay. And uses wood, of which we have plenty. Uh, the bakery extension we can't do yet. Uh, the armor's workshop we can't do yet. Where do we make guns? Or swords and that kind of behaviour. I don't think you've got bandits have nicked something. I'm gonna murder them. Blacksmith workshop will do you some uh, some spears and sidearms. 
what, uh, why don't we do two? Let's do a blacksmith here. Yeah, baby. And then find another one. He's doing chickens. Keep him doing chickens. We want the food. Uh, you're on veg. Right. Veg. Possibly chickens. We're still level one. No, they're not doing anything. Right, level two that one. And we'll turn that into another bit of... We'll, we'll make, have them making shoes. That feels like a potential winner. 84% approval. I'll take it. That's good. Yeah. Uh, we're losing... At present, we're losing... Uh, two off our approval every month and it's because we're going up by two based on the stuff we do have and we're losing eight based on the stuff we don't got it upgrade the church tiles tiles okay sing sing song the bell there you go uh, right we're at the beginning of the shoe event horizon <laughs> I, I, th I think the shoe event horizon is delightful. You know what? I'm enjoying this. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. Uh, and I think it's because I'm going, sl I'm going dead slow. I'm not being efficient in the slightest. Uh, but I am, I am enjoying this. And I, I'm still not in the mood to play, <laughs> to play a village builder. Uh, but here we are. I'm playing it. Uh, right. Wheat is now at twenty six. Hasn't that gone down? Maybe. What's this? Fence it up. Missing branch. Fertilization. Uh, allows to use fallow field as pasture, which rapidly restores last fertility. La la lost fertility. That's interesting. But, I mean, there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> there really isn't. Tubular bells. <coughs> which is a fabulous hour. Of course. If you've never listened to the whole of Tubular Bells, the whole album, not just the flipping uh, Exorcist, listen to the whole album at least once. Uh, it's it's a really, really good piece of work. And Mike Oldfield was only like 19 when he wrote it, which is quite remarkable. Yeah, It might not particularly speak to you, but it's certainly worth listening to, and it broadens one horizons. And if you want to understand uh, Boomer's taste in music and one of the influences on it uh that's a seminal album that uh, that people who grew up in the 60s would have uh, will have will have been in, involved in yeah in my humble opinion and speaking on behalf of my parents yeah uh right i've got a lot of burgages here that aren't doing a second job uh, how's the food five months what's the variety an absolute monkey load of eggs okay minus one meat how does that work <laughs> i don't know poorly uh someone has someone has heaved meat all over uh right but what we are gonna want is more goat can't have it i've got the cash oh i've spent it all okay all right well fair play we'll wait then I could flog, I could flog shoes to all kinds of people. Could flog shoes to all kinds of people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Oldfield is an inspiration for your nowhere near as good music. The thing is, he never did much else. No, he, uh, he had uh, one tremendous piece of work that he recorded ever so early, and then there wasn't much else, which is. Hmm certainly never hit the same heights again. Yeah, Jean-Michel Jarre played in surround sound as a giggle. Yes. Uh, the, the trick with Jean-Michel Jarre is, which one do you listen to? Oh, it doesn't matter, any of it. <laughs> it's all the same. You know, you go, all right, fair play. But yeah, I mean, the, the whole the dawn, of, uh, dawn of electronic music uh, and, uh, and people trying stuff out. Why not? And then, of course, like Kraftwerk. Yeah. Yeah. What about Moonlight Shadow? Oh. There you go. That's what I say to that. <laughs> what a dirge. Um, yes, it counts, but it's still a dirge. But obviously, everyone's entitled to their opinion and their own individual, unique and beautiful taste. Right. 
You're here doing chickens. Right, wasn't it this one that I was doing? Yep, it's here. You're on carrots. Oh, forget it. Keep doing carrots. Here we go. You make me weaponry. No, shoes. 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 We are making. I've finished making a firewood stall. Hadn't we got a hundred of those already? How are we doing in the tannery? How are we doing for leather and, and treated leather and the likes? You've got 11 leather. You've, you've got a, a shortage, I would say, of hides. Am I flogging leather? That's certainly possible. Given that you only recently had a use for it. Don't you have an armour of making something out of it as well? Ah. In the training post at the moment, I've got some bows and I've got some clay. Right. Uh, materials. Leather. Hides we're not selling. Okay. Uh, leather we're not selling. Good. Good. That's as it should be. Just how much do these things go for? War bows we're still flogging. I might up the number of war bows we keep in stock just a little. Uh, they go for five quid each, which is not awful, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, now. No, there's no sign of shoes here. What about here? Shoes, eight quid a pop. Okay. Yeah, but I reckon it'll make my approval rating go up, which will offset the amount that I'm losing due to uh, taxing these poor souls. Don't be sympathetic towards them. That I'm investing all of their tax in their well-being and, and progress and benefit and life. Sure, sure, tell yourself that. Now, have they rebuilt a camp over here? Nope. You have expunged them. However, there is one over here. Uh, do you want to go in and, you know, whip them? Maybe. 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 Now, if I want to claim that, I can't just stroll in there and claim it. I've got to get my influence up. And that means that I need to start giving food to the flipping church, which I don't want to do. You get your clothing stall up. Hey. That's good. Yeah. How is the food? The food's great. Look at all of the eggs. Well, yeah, I think, we've, I think we're at max chicken for the time being. The, the bigger the back guards and the bigger the output. Yes, I knew that already. I did, I did know that. I've been studiously ignoring it, but I did know that. Or rather, I've not been I'm not been adhering to try and making them as big as possible. Uh, I'm more interested in getting the families in in the first place so that I've got... I mean, like the situation I'm in now, where I've got five teams available to upgrade things. But at the same time, I could just, you know, leave them as is. Uh, and, uh, and all of that business. <laughs> all that business. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that business. All of it. Burgish pot level one. What I will do though is I'm going to start investing in level twoing some of these, or rather I would if I weren't skint. We've got one quid. <laughs> I think we burned through our last hundred on a bit of wheat. Ah, okay. Oh, on, what's it? Work area is empty. Really? Yep. They have they rinsed the berries. All right, fellas. All right, go on. Off you go. And the wild animals are being kept in check by one fella working here. Which is a bit worrying. Yeah, he's not exactly... He's not bringing in an abundance. No. Why have we not got more honey? Aren't we already employing, like, as many... We've got three people in the honey business already. You get up into four. That's incredibly... I mean, that's excess massively excess i could build another well actually the well i've got is 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 i apologize on not intentional pun uh is well placed we can stick another well here yep might save people some effort i don't know if they need a well but i imagine they'd like one it's good for firefighting oh well they should totally have one I'm going to have to snick it a road through here 
to place the well over there somewhere. Or here. Oh, yeah, okay, that's at the end of the road that exists now. So it's suited to a bit more extension, expansion, extension, expansion. Now, it says here that a church fulfills one level of faith. What would having a second church do? Huh? Eh? See, I have a feeling that having a second church might might help double the church is double the fun yeah i mean they could then form different christian denominations and constantly be at war with one another well it's a novel idea i'm not sure it'll catch on oh i think it will uh, a livestock pasture but there's no point until i can actually breed sheep yeah hello captain disaster let's see Increase more faith. Double the religion. Double religion. Yeah. I mean, I can afford one. It's more a question of, do I think it will actually nudge us in a direction that is going to be helpful? You know how to find out. You build one. You build one. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to build one. Settlers clamp. Place it on empty claimed territory. Construction costs 250 groats. Okay, well, I can't afford it anyway. I was going to try it out just to see if it works, but... It, I, yeah, enables training of livestock. Yeah, which is good once I've got livestock, which I don't currently. Go on, stick me in another church. Let's see what happens if I have two of them. That one's right at the perimeter. Yeah, okay, so we've got one here. I mean, think about how you're going to expand from here on. No, no, because if this works, I will have a third church at some point. So, yeah, absolutely. Go go for this one over here. Build it right opposite this lot. People love having a church directly opposite their front yard. It gets them all, all keen. Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The keener, the better. Okay. Uh super i mean look i have basically built housing estates here and i'm not ashamed you could, I, you could say maybe i should be but i'm not right you're not building anything get on veg please no nope, can't afford it uh, yeah okay maybe we should put more people on trade i've got spare people i've got nine spare people at the moment nine yeah okay get on trade you Let's do more of it more frequently. Uh, we could also crank up the amount of clay we're kicking out by sticking another bloke or two on clay. Yes. There's some cash. No, it's spent it. Ah, oh, flipping egg. Yeah, we're spending it as fast as we're getting it. What else am I buying? I know I'm buying wheat. I can't remember. Uh, down here, nothing down here wheat purchase yes aiming for 10 gotcha foods we're importing meat ah and that is expensive yeah 12 quid a go how much is the 12 quid a go for wheat as well bloody Nora. yeah that's not nothing no that's a lot uh, yeah. Importing is a mugs game. Yeah, it really is. We could probably export some eggs. Oh, you haven't paid the trade price. No. All right, stop importing meat for a bit, and let's see if that helps us. Uh, have I got anything else that I've already paid the purchase? Yeah, iron slabs. Yeah. Clay. Yeah, it just doesn't make the money. Yeah, and we, I mean, we get precious little from it. Yes. Uh, leather goes for good cash-ish. Yeah, all right. Commodities. But shoes go for even better cash than that. But it depends if it's one piece of leather makes one shoes. Yes. <laughs> That's how they describe I could flog tools. I've got loads of them. You've got, you haven't got 200 quid. <clears throat> oh, yeah. But even that's only 600 quid's worth of tools, and I've been building that up for a while, and we need it. Yeah, okay. Warbows, we're still flogging. Yep. 
that's my that's your chief export right now. How much do tiles go for? Just in case I decide to do it. They go for eight quid each. Well, okay, well, that's not great. Finished the well? Good. Has that helped anybody? Uh, let's go with no. All right, fine. Yeah, more clay, more clay. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, right, mining pits. Generic storage, yep. Clay it. There you go. Get to the claying, you. Clay for the clay god. Oh, look, my wall's coming up. Isn't it nice? Well, I think what we've demonstrated before is that the one thing my people do know how to do is put up a fence. Are you all right, mate? You look a bit dicky. He, he is a bit dicky. He's praying and he's sick. Oh, Tonya, pull it together, son. So far, my retainers are a bunch of rubbish. A bunch of rubbish. Yeah, they are. They're a lot of old tosh. Your planks are running low. Yeah, well, I'm turning quite a lot of them into a fence at the moment, so that's probably okay. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. Everything else, though, you're, you're keeping the balance really nicely. Uh, the forager's hut is vacant because it's not forager. Hold on, what can I press there? Add a herb garden. You flipping know it. Oh, I've got money. Pause. I just spent 25 quid on adding, adding a, a herb garden, which feels to me like a really good purchase, because that's Médecin. Uh, Frontier is optional. Now, do we upgrade some burgage plots to two? What's the cost on that? It is... I'm not sure it is. I, I don't think it does. I think it just uses lumber. Still 85. Oh, crumbs! Right, what if... Because they're all going to give me, flip him, a quid a month each. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I thought they actually it cost money to upgrade those. It costs money to add the initial artisanal whatever it is they're doing. Chicken guard. Sure. Uh, that's that's where you spend your money. Now you're going to burn through an awful lot of lumber doing this. Yeah, but think of the cash. Not least of all, because, uh, you know, I'm going to be skimming some of that to turn into armory stuff. This is a win, 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 win. Yeah. This place doesn't have space enough to actually do a little industry there. This is literally just housing. All right, fine. It's literally just a cash barn. I'm a cash barn. Ah, there you go. You've got room. Vegetations or goats? Goats. <laughs> we need shoes. Uh, and you? Vegetables. Let's keep the food going, because if I need to start donating stuff to the church, I'm going to need to ensure that we've got enough rudiments. Okay? So, ensure the rudiments there, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else. Uh, right. Order a new horse? I don't need a new horse. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was that the only option? Will adding a new horse give me more trading? Because that's not terribly terrible idea. Uh, level 2 become unhappy if their needs aren't met. You know what they need? Not a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They need a roof over their head, a variety of spicy foods, and shoes. Which I will be providing for them presently. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know. I need graphs. Graphs is what I need. Uh, I need to understand the ebbs and flow. Flipping heck. I've got 45 living space now, and I'm using 44 of it. That's what comes from being popular. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to need to book in some more of that as well. Well, I've got all this land here that I seem to have earmarked for it. If you want to keep the, uh, the build going that way. Or you could go around, which brings your mines into slightly closer use. That would be a crash to desktop, friends. Oh, I haven't pressed this button in a while. Yeah. I didn't do anything. I didn't. When was the last time we thanked autosave? Oh. Don't know. Uh, right. Okay, well, let's, let's kill the old uh, Unreal uh, crash department there. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then let's fire it on up. Everybody hope for a good save point. Do, 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 do. Ah, stuff crashes. Right, autosave was at 11.14. Oh, like a minute ago. Uh, April 20th. That's today. Hey! It might have been the autosave that killed it. Well, let's find out, shall we? Hey! There we go. Right. Is it a disaster? Nope, there's 30 quid. That's how much I had left mere moments ago. Everything's fine. We lost nothing. We lost nothing. And if we did, it was negligible. It might be that I complete a build anytime soon, and that's what crashes it. In which case, we're about to do CSI, tell someone to stop building something. Which would be exciting. Um... Yeah. Uh, good. Right. There's some supplies. Why are they... I don't know. <laughs> Why? Why are they just lying around there? Maybe the ox died. Oh, that would be quite sad for the ox. Yeah. Uh, right. There we go. Let's go burgage. I'm going to build some big burgages out here. Big burgages. Right. Build it at the junction. Yeah. Bring it on down here. Dude, don't go mad. Okay. I won't. Uh, let's go out as far as there, right, and then give them some real depth. How much depth? Give them some proper flipping depth. Like that much? Yeah. Okay. Feels like a lot. That's... Them some... Them some burgages. Ah, oh, yeah, burgaged. They'll be... They'll know they've been burgaged. Good times. Yes, that's good, I suppose. Uh, right, okay, yeah. Now they're going to take a moment or two to build. You can put Hold on, what's the extension slot when it's at home? That's, that's showing on the blueprint. So if you do another one here, for example... Uh, yeah, okay. See, the little shed with the hammer in, that's what it means by extension slot. That's where they do the works. That's where they do the works. Gotcha, right, okay, good, 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 good. It's always good to understand. Uh, Katie's back. Uh, the girl said, uh, hope you're behaving. Have a, a fab night uh, and get yourself a drink and something for Jeff. <laughs> I think you've had enough drink for the pair of us, haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you? Keep going. Keep going. If there's no regrets, then have you have you really lived? Huh? Yeah. Um, good. An acre of land each. Yeah, think of the number of chickens they could have on there. Uh, thank you, uh, Katie. Appreciate it. Have a good time with the team. Uh, I hope you have a successful mission, whatever that may be. Yes. You can build more apiaries. Oh, I can't. You're maxed at two. Am I really only allowed two? Because I'd go, I'd go bonkers for bees. Yep. Pretty sure you're only allowed two. I've got workforce available. I could, I could go more bees. You know, I like a bee. I do like a bee, yes. Uh, yeah. I'm going to check, because I want to know. Uh, right, fields, waste of time. Uh, farmhouse, see above. Pasture, can't do it yet. Sheep farm. Hey. Workers collect wool from sheep. Sheep must be imported first. That's a minor detail. We can sheep farm even without the sheep farm sheep farm. I think you just get a benefit from it later. All right, so I could sheep. I could do, use this area as a sheep farm because that way, with it spilling onto here, when I get the upgrade for fencing, it allows that to them to that to. Yeah, you're with me. I thought you might be. Uh, right, yeah. Parker up here. Okay, and then I need a pasture attached to me sheep farm. Possibly. It might not need to be attached to the sheep farm, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay, how much pass of space are you giving it? Loads. That's 54. That feels else. promising. Yeah. Do you want to surround the whole sheep farm? Yeah. Okay. See how we get on with that. Alright. Smashing. Good. Yeah, where's the mallet? It won't let you. 
Do you reckon it's that last one that's done it? I reckon it's that last one that's done it. All right, pull it back one. Yeah, see? That, no, no, it was happy. And now it's not. Huh, why are you overlapping? Maybe the road? All right, okay, try something else. About there. Red lines, as far as the other. Don't overlap the farm and see if that makes it work. Hey! We're in business. It's a weird shape, but then aren't we all? Uh, Captain Disasters flung a fiver in the bucket. Thank you, CD. Uh, have a root beer on me. Oh, I do like a root beer. Uh, there, it's it's far too sweet, but I like it anyway. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I will. I'll go and procure some root beer tomorrow. And I'll have one, just because you told me to. That will be the only justification required. Right, you can have a business. Uh, uh, talk to me. Uh, right, we've got 115 food, of which most of it's eggs. <laughs> Fine. <coughs> Seems extreme. It is what it is. Uh, right, how many hundreds of sheep do I want? More than that. You won't get 100 sheep in there. We've got plenty of kiwis in the house. They'll tell you. They know. I've finished my church. Hey! It hasn't dinged the influence on that. No. We'll see if we if we ding the influence on this. But it, uh, on the first glance, it does not look like double the church is double the fun. Uh, it just looks like a franchise. Right. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, root beer is insidious, as Garrick will tell you. It is. Yeah. Much like the Federation. Um... A very good speech, very well written. Much like much of DS9, as it happens. Which is why DS9 is best Trek. Because uh, it's the anti-Trek. That's what makes it what makes it. Right. Now, it's worth noting that these material deposits that we've got going on here, they're not infinite. Hmm... I mean, there's still a 1,000 in that one. And down here, there's still 1,500 in that one. Maybe it is infinite. Maybe that's just a maximum draw. I wouldn't want to gamble on that being the case. Why have you bulldozed my manor house when all we're doing is putting up a pig in fence? You bunch of plums. Hey. All right. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, let's up the tempo and get some of this built. How are we doing for everything? You've got so much firewood, it's not even firewood anymore. It's a religion. Okay. Stop that, you idiots. Right, there you go. What? You've made too much. There's no such thing. That's true. Sheep farm's done. That was quick. Thank you. Yeah, all right. We don't need to put any pasture space. Zero of five. Uh-oh. Well, surely you understand that this pasture... 048. Can I assign this pasture to your uh, your capron? You appear to come with five pasturing space to start with. Check advanced. Nope. Check livestock. Obviously no. Uh, people no. General no. Uh, otherwise I've built this pasture for now. Now it was cheap so I can knock it down and put it back up again. Hit a question mark. No. I need a livestock trader. Okay. Right. I'd like him to live near my actual trader, but I don't want to abuse too much of my forestry land. I might make another forest. Oh, he's hang on. He has been busy over here. Yeah, that's true. And we have got some growth going on there as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is at a three. Five months of food. May we? Uh, okay, that's solid. Yeah. Yeah, all houses currently full, incidentally. Just so you know. Uh, livestock and the trader thereof. Uh, logistics, is it? That's a pack station. Oh. Use this building to set up a barter connection. Allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your... Oh, it's in my command. I don't have any other regions in my command. Uh, another hitching post. It's not there. Is it here? Yes. Livestock post. Yes. Bandits stole some wood. Oh, damn them. Yeah, your retinue would have stopped it. And they didn't because they're totally worthless. 
Right you are. Alright, can you fit on here? You can fit the other side. No, that's my foresting area. You can sit there, though. Maybe I don't need them there. Oh, you could just go and sit them out next to the farm. I'm going to go sit them out near the farm. I said next to. Yes, and I said near to, which is not the same thing. Uh, let's finish this road in a way that... That's ill-advisable. Inadvisable. Yeah, yeah, both those things. And others. Uh, pull this out here. Right. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and then swing it around. I reckon you've taken that too far. I reckon you have. I reckon you take it there and then bring it around here. And then you swing it around there. And then you go poink. And then it patoinks in the way that things are intended to do. You could you could probably get a bit of that in there as well. That's nice. Yeah, allow people to visit the church from multiple angles. Well, yeah, I mean, if they want to do it standing on their head, they could. See, look, people are already using the road. This is no uh, Soviet path episode. No, it genuinely isn't. No, 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 they're more than happy to use the things you've laid on for them. These are workers who are grateful. Ah, good for them. That's a ruddy big arrow you've got going on there. Yeah, why? You're a trading hut. You should snap to the chuffing road, son. What's your problem? Why are you, why are you being like this? Because you want a lot of room out front. Fine to sit in there, then. I don't care. It'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll be right. Uh, we're up to 139 population now, you know. 139. <laughs> five months of eggs. Yeah. Uh, sheep just go to pasture. You don't need to link to it. Thank you. Well, it's... I mean... We would have found out one way or another anyway. Because <laughs> it's not like we can now go like, well, well, we'll just see, won't we? All right, these are all level two. You're level one. What? With your carrots. Oh, dear. Requirements not met. What's the requirement met? Have I used up all my timber? No, no, you've got loads. Okay. What was your... Why? What's the requirement? What do you need that you don't have? Huh? Don't know. Okay. That's curious, though. Maybe I'm maxed out on the number of level twos I can have. I don't know. Okay. Maybe there's a ratio thing that happens. Unlocks extensions, including artisan workshops. Residential requirements will increase. Ah, so yes, you are capped at the number of level twos you can have until you've probably got a number of level ones or maybe some level threes for people to aspire to. Tricky, don't know. Don't know. I might have to turn taxation off for a little while. Doesn't have access to two food market, market food stalls. Yeah, where's that room? Here. Aha. Yes, okay. Well, whatever. They'll get over it. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I won't build them a nicer house. That's on them. I was quite prepared to build them a nicer house, but they were like, Aah. and now they're not getting one. Yeah, sucks to be you. Should have kept your mouth shut and just taken the good times when they were offered to you. But no. No, you were like, oh, and I was like, and there's the answer to everything. Do you want to build some shields? Sure. Get to work, lads. Uh, yeah, why not? Might as well. You can level up. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he'll level up. You lot over here that are whinging. Oh, you were well. I'm obviously going to need another market. Yeah. Okay, well, look, meanwhile, down here at uh, Allotment Central, right, you can't level up either because you need access to anything. Okay, but you could always, hold on, construct a backyard extension. They've got enough backyard already. What are you even on about? Oh, yeah, here. Oh, right, yes. Vegetable garden, please. Right, okay, and you? Vegetable garden, please. Okay, yeah. And you? 
Uh, I'd like a vegetable garden, if you don't mind. Okay, what about you? Uh, I'd like a goat. Good. Okay, I'm out of money. I know, but we've got three veg and a goat. And there's probably some entertainment material in there. Looks like your man has been built. Hey, nice. Yeah. No, look, it's up. It's shiny. Uh, we're ready to commit violence or defend ourselves from it. <clears throat> well, that's highly beneficial. Um, right. Good. Yeah. Now then. Have we built that? Yep. Have I got some spare blokes? Yep. Okay. Right. Trade. What do you want? Sheep, please. You're going to have to pay nothing. Right. Good. Import. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm going to import four. And we will then call that breeding stock. Whether it works or not, I've no idea. Uh, but we will buy those in. Now, those are 30 quid each, so it's going to take a little while to get all four. What about lambs? They appear to be cheaper. They do appear to be cheaper. Hold on. Let's import some lambs. Two. Right. And then two of them. Bandits have nicked some carrots. Flipping bandits. Yep. But, you know, bandits going to bandit. They are. Now then, you could probably put some more people to work. Can I turn off the bells? No. What I can do, though, which I could have done earlier on, is I could turn them down. There you go. I'll stick that about there, and then you'll be less less perplexed, nay, uh, perturbed by them. You're welcome. Uh, right, I've got firewood for months. I've got food for a while. Obviously, all eggs. An all-egg diet is very, very healthy. It says so in every diet book. The all-egg diet. Uh, by the time you've finished it, you have had a heart attack. And you're welcome. Uh, Bloomery is G2G. That's good. Do you want to upgrade the church? I would like to, but again, tiles. Oh, yeah, fine. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything else you need to do? Uh, it's April. Fruit's about to get... Shh. You're irking the viewers. Foragers, assemble. Get to foraging, kids. Thank you. Right, now, the question becomes, do we have some shoes? We do. We've got two. Wow, that is the traditional number. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Super. I just made another food stall. Well, that feels that feels good as well. I've got absolutely no money, but I do have 74 quid in my slush fund now. I haven't got enough money to buy sheep. Good. You could turn wheat off for a couple of months. You've got the food to weather it, and you're about to get berries coming in. See, that's not a terrible idea either. All right, let's stop imports, please. Uh, no trade on wheat for the moment. Raiders! Raiders! Raiders have been seen near Iconal. Well, that's not us. That's someone else. Where are they? Shut... What? Give me a fighting chance. All right, where's this? That's out there. Okay, and where am I? Uh, uh, here. Okay. Then I'm not bothered. No. Okay. No. We in, in Zwao is... Uh, we're, we're all fine here. So we don't care about those bandits. If they come this way, though, oh, we'll tell them. They will, they will know they've been told after we finish telling them. Uh, right, trading post, trade of nothing, please. A sell only. Okay, let's go. That's slabs. We're still selling slabs. Yeah, but you don't have many. Uh, we've got 364 clay now. Has the market for tray, r clay rather rather eased off a smidge of late? Perchance it has. Okay. Okay. And war bows. We've got 142 <laughs> war bows. We are ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I dread to think who would dare face us. 
Wow, someone with a someone with a burning urge to be shot by a lot of bows, I imagine. Right, crank it. Let's uh, let's see if we can't make a bit of money back. I've got two lads working me trading hut already, so I don't know. We'll we'll see. But policies are available. Thanks, Zuna. Yeah, I appreciate that. There won't be any new policy at fifty quid. It's a start. Yeah, perhaps I could interest her in some clay. A lot of clay. Like, clay. I, don't, I haven't got a development point that I just missed earning. No, you, you aren't missing that. It's a pity. I don't know if this is working or not. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Yeah. The world. You could open another hunting lodge where there are where, where there isn't any game and put three lads in there just to bring in some free meat. It's not a terrible idea. What are the policies? You got two that are locked in early access. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We got this one which is terrible. Right. Uh you've got this is which is terrible. Okay. And then these that don't work in early access. Policies not happening. Not right now. I've only got wow uh, as my uh, as my place. Enemies being spotted. All right, show me. Oh, there's a few of them. There are a few of them. Now, where are they versus where are I? Uh, they're, they're at your front door, mate. Because this is Zwow. Really? Yeah, they've they've come for everything. Oh, Lorks. Yeah. Well, we could go and kick it inside the manor. Yeah. All right, team. Uh, battle units. Assemble. Okay. You haven't got any archer towers. We think that's a problem. I think it might slow you down. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. What's your plan? Well, let's start in here. That's the castle planner. Yeah. Well, that's lovely. Uh, right. You. Oi. You lot. Come here. Rally. Where? Here. What's that? That's the thing that you built. Yeah. Well, what is it? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. I, I don't. Is it total war now? Uh, no, but we might get a kicking here. Yeah. You sit there. Right. You come here. Okay. All right. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah. S dispatch the war oxen. These guys won't do anything because I can't. Yeah, even if I spent the last 75 quid, I don't think I'd be able to get them situated. Although I could have a look. Uh, retinue customization. 50 quid a pop. All right, there you go. You're invited. Well done. I'm not training you up. You can have an axe. Oh, you, you already know the uniform. Well done, Bartholomew Bartholms. Who needs a better name? Oh, you do. I... Do we go recent or do we go from your? Uh, I'm, I'm going to pull one out that I don't use very often. And it go nine millimeter. There you go. All right, in a go. You're ready. I've only got 24 quid left. Otherwise, I would be able to bring out my fifth. But I haven't, so I can't. This could go bad. I concur. Yeah. Hop to it, lads. We've got lots of archers. Oh, hold on. Create a new unit. Hang on. Let's make some more archers. I've got tons of bows. Yes. Uh, right. There seems to be 36 lads in there. Master. Now, spear dudes, really only one job for you in this particular caper. And that is sit there and take it. <laughs> okay. That's all you have to do. Just sit there and take it and the archers will take care of business. Uh, okay. Come on, kids. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Right. Have you got shields? Some of us have. That'll do. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's go. There's only 20 of us, my liege. Oh, uh, well. Uh, lieges are as lieges do. Uh, what does that even mean? Yes, it does. Uh, shields up. Stand your ground. Right. You lot. Let's firing squad, please. Alright, where's, where's my new unit? They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. 
All right. You lot. Right. I realise this is your first time out. So do your best. Try not to die too quickly. Okay. Now, what do we got here? Shoot at will. Yeah, let's engage that. And you. Fire when you fancy it. Just don't run out of arrows, okay? All we need to do is break their morale. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's it's happening. It's happening. I'm going in. Go, lads, go. That's it. Get twanging. Wither them under your unrelenting hail of arrow. Are you killing any of these clowns at all? Stab, fellas, stab. Oh, this is good. We've almost wiped that group out. That's good. However, things over here are not gone so well. Right, let's jump out of lordly mode. Yeah. No, we have done well here. No, there's still 20 of them. All right, forget I spoke. All right. Let's see the numbers. Are you kids up for this or what? Nah, there's only four of us. Oh, okay. What? We in, we earned influence. What happened? What give? What, what gave? We just made a sh shocking amount of influence. Yeah. The archers aren't having a great time, though. What, in melee? No, we have a bit of a numeric advantage. Are you still fighting? Yeah, like one bloke. All right, okay. In which case, let's put you... Come here. Onto, like, violence. Uh, push forward. There you go. There you go. C come on, come on, come on. Help out the archers. We've got a, we've got a good thing going here. Oh, hang on. What's happened there? We've got flipping influence. I can press a claim. I can press something. Yeah. These archers have broken free. They're now able to fire into friendly combat. Apart from them, they've... Oh, no, they're brigands. Okay, they've had enough for the day. Good effort there. Archery too. Oh, and that worked too. Yep, they've legged it. Okay. All right, kids. Do we think they've had generally enough? Because they're bugging out. It does look like that was it. Yep, that was it. Hey, team. We won. Oh, sound the victory bell. It's not there. Sound the victory bell. Thank you. Right. Good. Now, all of you lot, get back to work. Uh, I know it was a pleasing distraction, but uh, you've got work to do. Now go and get on with it. Woohoo! Ah, super. Yep, there you go. That went brilliantly. Yeah, Yo, you're going to need some better kit. I'm going to need some better kit. Yeah. But I've got 147 people, and at the moment, I'm only bringing 80 into the crowd. I need more melee. Yep, and you already don't have enough weapons for that. I did just build, or rather I commissioned... A, I'll have some weapons, please. Uh, building type bloke. And we have got metal. I'm making shoes. Well, that's super. Uh, what are you doing? You are... Ah, uh, carrots. Okay. Ah, we were making shields down here. You weren't. I, don't, I think that was my intent. It's here, look. Uh, join us. Well, let's just hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you could be a weaponsmith. Don't, yeah, you made one. You made one. Don't build two weaponsmiths. That's too many. Can I hit this? Yeah, you can. It's not going to tell you, though. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, okay. You're going to have to process of elimination it. This is not going to tell you what you need to know. Although there's a crafty place here. Is that shoes? No, it's nothing. It's just a level two. Ah. All right. Tell you what. You know what? Better to have too much than too little. Uh, production of tools and spears and side on. Why are we not making spears and side Oh, what's this? Tailoring? I don't mind if I do. Yeah, you tailor for all you're worth. Maybe that'll come good. Um, right. Yes. Yeah, that's not pushed the agenda for us. You can just mouse over, actually, and find the one you want. Blacksmith. Uh, yes. 
But isn't he making tools? No, that's what they make. Oh, hold on. There's where you tell him what to make. Sidearms. Oh. Yeah. Or tools. Right. Or spears. Oh. Or pole arms. I do like a pole arm. Yeah. However, sidearms might not be a terrible plan. Can I double select? No. Oh, it'd be nice if you could do both. Well, tough. All right, okay. Yeah, what's this button do? Uh, expand living space. Doubles the maximum family count. I don't need to double the family count unless that... You know what? I'm going to try it. Yeah. Because then maybe we get double the uh, double the stuff. Uh, can, they have, can they do 1911s? Um, not that kind of sidearm. No. Uh, sheeps. I have sheeps. Sheeps are happening. Two. I've got sheeps. Two. A pair. A pair of sheeps. Right. Let's put a sheep professional on the uh, on the sheep caper. Just one? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it would be anymore. I've got 2,000 flipping influence for having run them bandits off. Woo! Yeah. Four blacksmiths. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon we, we, go, we go more blacksmiths. Yeah. Have you got anything in range? Uh, not enough so that you can up the tempo. Right. Don't tell me I need to extend my... I don't, I, I don't want to make a second market. I think you might have to. Thank you, save game. Um, yeah, and this lot might struggle as well. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Dead people need bury... Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, right. Put people in the corpse pit. Uh, by which I mean hire people to put people in the corpse pit. I'll stick two on there until we clean that up. Oh, my approval's going to tank. Uh, ditch uh, taxation for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it to, I don't want it to dump too much. Uh, taxes, none. Yeah. Okay. How's the food and fuel? Yeah, adequate. Cool. Second town or a third maybe. I, we're going to go for a second town. And I think yes to Archer Towers. I think yes, that's a very smart idea. 20 people need burying. I've put two lads on it. They'll have it done by tea time. Um, Fletcher's shop. Do I have any choices here? Nope. You're making bows, but we flog them, and that's a good thing. Can't find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. That's a new one. Uh, yeah. Do I, I, do I need to build a storehouse? You've only got five bows. That's hardly in need of excess, but I... I, I I take it seriously, though, lads. I mean, I'm paying attention. I mean, I'm, I'm into... Oh, bloody hell. What have we got here? I've got 16 sidearms, 110 war bows, 49 shields. Have we been cranking out shields like there's no tomorrow? I'm going to go with yes. All right. Well, then what I need is an armory, but that doesn't appear to be something that I can build. No. And what I understand is that people store their weapons... All over town because this is a militia, it's not a professional military. Yeah, build another storehouse, stuff it, build another storehouse. I mean, that's more places for people to work, not if I don't put anyone in there. Well, yeah, there you go, you've got space here. Uh, what's that going to knock down? Nothing important. All right, yeah, go on, get it done. Yeah. Talk to the shield maker and get bigger shields. I don't know if you can, but yeah, I'll have a look. Uh, yeah. Here's the joiner shop, maker of shields. There is only one shield variety. I think that they were purely cosmetic. Oh, hold everything. Production focus. Small shields or really big ones. Let's do that. All right, thank you. Uh, or I can make wooden parts... I'd rather make wooden poets. Not the same thing. Okay, right. We're going to need uh, we're going to need another blacksmith, which means we're there's 55 people need burying. Hold on. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to up, up the short term labour here a little bit. I think. Uh, all right, corpse pit lads, get on with it, will you? Yeah, no, we've maxed you out. Just get them, get them stuffed in a hole. Thank you. All right, mining pit. There's no one in here. There will be in a moment. All right. All right. We'll stick two on that. 
get on with it. You can have some of the corpse pit lads when they've finished. Uh, and then the bloomery. Yeah. <laughs> we better we better start blooming a little faster. Whew, is this related to Bannerlord? No, it's not. Uh, similar kind of setting, but it's but it's not. It's much smaller scale, but more in depth at that scale. If that makes sense. Uh, finished tailor shop. Oh, super! Now you could go with the kind of tailoring that makes people happy about their lives, or you could go for like Gambersons and provide a little bit of armor to your militia. True. Thank you. All right, tailor shop. Uh, right, what are you currently whipping out? You're currently making gambesons. It's not a terrible idea, although we don't have any linen. Uh, this is Clothes requires linen and dyes. We don't make dyes. And then uh, cloaks needs yarn and dyes. Well, we don't do that either. Do you think maybe this was a bit premature? Yep. Okay. How do I... Well, what do I need to, to convert wool into, you know, the stuff? Ah, good question. Uh, it's... Is it a smith? No. Bloomy? No. Clay furnace? Clay furnace. You mean I can already make this? Well, why the heck am I not already doing it? I thought I had to unlock a doodah. Oh, flipping Nora. Right, okay, yeah. No, knock this out. We'll stick this right next to... Uh, yep, we'll stick... They're going to be unhappy anyway. Put it right in there. Uh, and then stop selling clay. Immediately. We're going to turn it all into tiles. And we'll knock some of them out instead. Because they're, you know, cash money. Cash money. Supply warning. Yeah, what else is new? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, food and... Uh, no, no, we'll, we'll be right. You'll be okay. Yeah. What are you looking for? Clay. All right. Well, actually look for it then and don't just skim through. It's not under commodities. It's not under military. Well, where the heck is it then? Is it under construction? No. Is it under crops? No. Is it under food? Definitely not. Okay. Is it under materials? Yes. Ah, right. Okay. Cease your exporting. No trade in that. And the same goes for iron as well. Don't sell any of that. Neither. Then you're not selling anything right now. It'll be fine. I'm not buying or selling at the current time. You could sell shoes. How many have I got? I've got 15. Oh, you haven't got the route. Ah, yeah, okay. All right, fine. Yeah. No, it's, it's okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. It's going to be fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What I'm curious about is whether these sheep will breed at a, uh, a reliable pace. But you're going to have to find out next time. Uh, the supply situation is two months of food, which is adequate. Three months of fuel, which is fine. Uh, next time around, flip big cat up my nose. Uh, we're going to be ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba And uh, binky, 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 binky. This will be back next time I'm back, which might be next weekend, but might not be. I'll let you know during the week whether I am going to be here or not. Thank you awfully for turning up today. Uh, what a fun stream. Yeah, we we progressed a lot more than I thought we were going to. This place is coming along quite nicely. And it has to be said, I'm enjoying this. It is, it's good. It's definitely good. Why is there so much fruit here? No, no, they're going after it. Okay, 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 okay. We've buried some of the bodies as well. Well, uh, good. Are they, have we let the bodies hit the floor? We certainly have. Well, I'll leave you that with a as a pleasing image. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah, yeah, that's where where we where we dealt with them. Can we not loot them? This feels like a resource we could be. Is that my flag? No, that might be theirs. Sorry, I'm trying to steer, and it's proving to be awkward. No, that's their flag. <laughs> Pin it up in the in the in the, the manner. Well, that'd be fun. Good, lovely. Tomorrow, baseball. Don't miss it. You don't want to miss it. Last week we took an absolute shellacking, but not before we dropped one on our opponents. Arr, arr, arr. Uh, and on Tuesday, don't miss the brutal ball. It's better than you think. 
Yeah, yeah. And this week I'm working on narrative Ooh, in my commentary. So there you go. Uh, 400 in chat, only 200 likes. That's the right way around. I would rather have 400 happy campers and only 200 of them press the button than 400 people press the button but only 200 happy campers. Give me the campers every time of the week. But if you can be bothered to press the like button, go ahead and do so. Uh, it's always appreciated. I'll be Colonel Failure. Catch you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Button.